Ah, uh, I still have it set to loop. Ah, oh, this is so insane, dude. What, what even is happening anymore? I feel like I'm just so confused. Everything is trying to get me right now. Hello. Oh my god. My god. <laughs> we are so back though. We're so freaking back. Hi. Hi. Hey guys. Uh, you know, we're going, we're going into this. This is kind of crazy. Thank you, by the way. It has been. It's been a month. That's pretty freaking sick. That's pretty amazing. But, oh my gosh, dude. <sighs> Technology has been putting me through the ringer. I don't know what it is lately. But, like, please... And I mean, actually, you know what? I need to say this to you face to face. Okay. Please. And I mean, with the utmost of sincerity, please tell me if anything is off. I had to reset up everything. Like if volume is off, if you think I'm louder than normal, if you think the music is quieter than normal, if you think anything is off for whatever reason, please tell me. I have no idea. I have no freaking idea what's happening anymore. I had to, I had to, gosh, guys, Take this, take this as a word of advice, okay? Take this as a word of advice. Please back up everything. If you're worried about anything, please back it up. Back up all of your stuff, okay? Like, oh my gosh, okay? Please, please. Thank you so much. I, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. One, one freaking month and we're finally here again. Finally, finally doing our thing. Gosh. Happy one month. Thank you so much. And thank you for the super. <laughs> ah, I'm glad you guys are doing well. We are indeed. Wow. Um, hey, look, I saw some of that stuff, but I, I, I didn't read anymore. Don't just, you know, I, I don't even know what you're talking about, to be honest with you. We missed you. Happy one month. Thank you so much. Hi. Oh, wow. One month. You guys are, y'all are, are crazy. I've, I've, I've been like losing it because I had to send my PC into a repair shop. And now we're here on this thing. It's, it's a, it's a slightly weaker PC, but it's going to be okay. Thank you for one month. Thank you. Thank you all for the supers. I appreciate it. You were finally free. You won the battle against PC. Yes, I did. I'm, I'm ready. <sighs> you know, it's okay. It's okay. I'm happy to be here. Luckily, this PC, despite being a bit weaker than my original one, can handle this because, you know, it's capture card. So it's it's all good. I'm streaming it straight from my PS5. Well, not straight from my PS5, but like, you know, I'm I'm connecting the P Yeah, you get it. You, you know how capture cards work. So this is something that's a bit more doable, but I'm worried about this PC. It is not, it is not as strong. I'm, I'm, it's, it's kind of a massive downgrade to, to give you, to say the least, if I'm being honest with you, but it works and that's all that matters. I get to talk to you guys again. I'm happy. We are indeed back. Thank you for the super. You're amazing. Oh, oh God. We're back to this already. We're back to this. Really? Really? I, after all this escaping this, I finally got the filter that allows the people with an, a regular eye to see me and we're back to this already. Don't do this to me, okay? It's all right. I won't make a big deal out of it. <laughs> he's he's too fast. Ah, nobody can handle him. <laughs> dude, dude, this this is gonna be this is gonna be uh, we're gonna be okay, okay? We're gonna be okay. I think maybe possibly. I I have no idea what's going on. This PC is a mystery to me. Hopefully, it won't be too terrible. Honestly, it's seeming like it's gonna be just a, a tad rough. Just, just a little bit, just a tad, you know? But I think, I think we should be okay. I just have to close everything. And even that doesn't seem to be doing anything. So it's okay. Let's freaking crow. Have you one month. Thank you so much. I can't wait for more Clive today either. Wait, no. Oh, okay, you scared me. Huh, I thought you saw. God, everybody's, everybody's scaring me today. I'm excited to see Clive again. I'm excited to see Clive. Thank you for one month. Thank you. Huh, hopefully it doesn't stay like this for the majority of everything. That would be kind of painful. We'll do our bestest though. Yes, I will I will read the rest of them. I appreciate you guys. 
I'll do, I'll, I'll, I'll do, I'll do everything. I'm just like trying to catch up with everything. I'm slowing down. I'm trying to be like, okay, what's actually happening? What's going on? But thank you for the welcome back. It's unfortunate we we didn't get to do Outlast yesterday, but it's all right. You know, I'll be okay. Kind of, maybe. I'm gonna be honest, guys. If 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 I keep lagging like this, I'm not I'm not gonna want I'm not gonna want to keep doing this. It's really bothering me. It'll it'll be okay though. Maybe, just maybe, possibly. Why? What is going? Is it? Okay, maybe that's it. Oh, is that it, bro? Okay, I guess I guess that'll that'll have to do for now. Oh, oh wait, oh, I'm a genius. Oh, okay, never mind. I figured it out. I'm good. <laughs> no, no PNG time. We freaking got this. <laughs> okay, I feel good now. All right, we're gaming. All right, we're good. I got the filter. You guys, you guys should be able to perceive me now. You should. <sighs> oh my god. Now we're good. Now we're good. Now we're good. Volume's good. Everything's good. Thank you for all the feedback. Hopefully Final Fantasy should be good too. I think everything will be Gucci. I think everything is going to be fine. I had I had to go in the deepest recesses of my brain to remember all of my settings. But yeah, just I, I really want I, I really hope that this like hits hits home like my god. Please. Please back up anything, okay? You never know what could happen to your PC. You never know what could happen. Like, honestly, what ended up really happening with me, to tell you guys the truth, I know some of you were curious, like, what actually happened to my PC. Some people were saying it was a PSU issue, even though I, I just found out what a PSU was uh, yesterday. I didn't know what that was until today, or yesterday. Um, some people were saying it was RAM. Some people were saying it was, it could have been this, or it could have been that, you know? Fix, fix your shit. Fix your shit, Vanta. And uh, to be to be perfectly honest with you, what actually happened is that I was just chilling, you know, at my base, at home, at Ash headquarters, and I was attacked by six men. And you know, as I was absolutely obliterating them, my PC got caught in the crossfire, and you know, it wasn't the same again. So that's why I had to take it into a repair shop. So, yeah, that's the deal. That's what happened. Thank you for understanding. Um, you, yeah, you guys understand so well that you guys are actually frozen. You're shocked. You're, you're frozen in fear. That or chat's just not moving. Or both. Who knows? I'm gonna say that you guys are frozen in fear. You guys are just in awe of how crazy I am. Fending off six armed, uh, combatants. Oh, that's nothing compared to my usual, so. You know. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I'm just talking to the void right now. So, yeah. Six guys, you know. <laughs> Just a run of the mill work for me. That's just an just your average Friday, Tuesday, whatever today is. I don't know. I can't keep up anymore. Uh, everything's been uh, black ever since the PC uh, died, but it'll be back soon. For now, we will we deal with this. Oh my gosh! Uh, thank you guys all so much, by the way, for the for the supas. Happy one month. Thank you, and to Kurokoko. Kurokoko says thank you. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. People have been talking about YouTube and saying, like, chat's been doing weird stuff. So it, it's, it, it happens. It, it, it's okay. It's okay. I appreciate you guys. You have returned. Just going to catch with the VOD. Dropping to say hi and hope your PC gets fixed. Also, if it's not too much to ask, can I get a B-Day wish from my Oshi? Thank you very much. Have a, have a good night slash day, everyone. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. And thank you for the, for the Akasupa. I, 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 by the way, I needed to say this too. I changed my mind about, um, uh, saying happy birthday to people. I really like singing happy birthday. So, um, we're gonna, I'm gonna be doing that. So if you request a uh, happy birthday, but only if it's your actual birthday, don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Please don't lie to me. That would be really disrespectful. I would hope you wouldn't lie to me. I like saying happy birthday. But happy birthday. And thank you so much. Yeah, don't lie to me. Don't lie to me or else we won't do it anymore, okay? I really like it. Thank you. It means a lot. We're good. Okay. Okay. 
What did Jill say to Clive when he was leaving? Shiva later. <laughs> okay. Whoa, 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 wait. Whoa, wait. Oh, yeah. She is. I need to play this. I need to play this. Guys, we got to catch up. I'm going to be going for a while, okay? So, you know, like, be careful. I'm going to... I don't know how, how long any, anybody's willing to stay up, but I'm planning on going for a bit. As a matter of fact, I actually got some coffee. That's how committed I am to today. I am prepared. I am very prepared. I got coffee. Yeah, I'm prepared to, to keep going. I'm prepared to, to go the distance. Hey, I never said endurance. The word endurance never never was uttered from my mouth, okay? I never said that. But yeah, that's the plan. Also, sorry, I'm, I'm drinking iced coffee. I only drink iced coffee. So if you hear the ice like clanging around in my glass, I apologize. <laughs> but yeah, okay, we ball. I was eating a grape lollipop as I was watching some of your vines. Now, now this at this point, I think my brain will link the flavor grape with you. I mean, I am Niji Purple, so <laughs> thank you for the super. Happy one month, Kroshi. Here's to the future. Glad you managed to set up the stream today. Tag support Ganba. Thank you. Thank you for the Aka super. Thank you so much. Happy one month. That is too kind of you. Oh gosh, gosh, I had so many, so many friends. So many friends helped me out, but. Ultimately, it meant nothing because, you know, they everybody said uh, PSU and I was just like, Ugh, OK, but we're good. We're good. We're good. I f I'm OK. I'm alive. I fended off the, the six armed combatants that assault that assaulted me and then hurt my PC and we're, we're chilling. Let's jump in, though. I, I, I'm I'm I, this is this is no, no more. No more pre stream. We're going in. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I want to I want to keep seeing the, mo the rest of the story. We have places to be. All right. You ready? Three, two, we're going in. Yeah, we don't wait. For, we don't wait for. We don't wait for one. We're glad you're back. Thank you. I'm happy to be back, and thank you for the super happy one month. Huh. Oh my god. Oh, by the way, um, in case it wasn't obvious. Oh, actually, you need to say bye bye, Kurokoko. Bye, Kurokoko. Bye bye. See you later. Everybody, everybody, say goodbye. Say goodbye. It's been real. It's been real, Kurokoko. Take care of yourself, though. Bye bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good friends. Goodbye. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is fine. I think. I feel so thick. Why is that? Well, that's why, probably. Yeah, let's do that. That's uh, that's better. I don't want to block the other uh, subtitles because I know people like to read those. It's very important. Okay, cool. All right, that's what I meant. I was blocking the screen. That's why I meant I felt thick. I wasn't saying like I just felt thicker than average. Like I just meant like thick on the screen. That's what. I did. You know what? If if you don't if you don't want to listen to me after that, then that's it. Okay, we're going in. All right, Clive just got his new drip. <sighs> No, thick with two C's. <laughs> oh my gosh, Becky. Look at this boob window. My god. He's back. He's returned. How do I play this game again? <laughs> oh yeah, never mind. I know how to play this game. Damn, Clive. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful, okay? Alright. You gotta- you gotta fend off- You gotta fend off the rest of these- The rest of these gardening tools, okay? Jill is the only one we need, alright? Sid doesn't want us. He's not good enough for us. He simply wasn't prepared for the greatness that is us. Okay. We have Jill, though. Look, 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 look. Don't misunderstand. This is not Sid's slander. It's not slander. Don't don't say slander. That's a that's a strong word. It's a very strong word. I don't say I don't I don't slander anyone, okay? 
Oh, wait. I was pressing X on Xbox. I read that the strings on his shirt are holding on for dear life. Are they? Wait. No way. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> they certainly don't look like... They're very fastened well. They're kind of just chilling there. Is that Wilson? Wilson! Son of Will. Oh wait, let me upgrade my stuff. Uh, yeah, because I was using new things. Projectile, Flames of Rebirth. Oh yeah, I got that last night. I'm so sick. Or not last night, the other night. Here we go. Oh, okay. Perfect. Okay, we can just go. Do I have quests to do? Wilson, my man. My I brother. My DPS. Fancy. Yeah, no. Sorry. I don't have anything new to buy from you here, because I have new gear. What is this? Reduces Rook Gambit cooldown time? Hmm, I'm good. See I don't even really know what that is. Okay, I have to remember how to do things again. I have to really remember how to do that. I feel like I got, like, the hang of it the last time, but I don't know. Y you? Those are Elwins. By the flames. You're his firstborn. Clive Rosfield. Yep, that's me, baby. Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. Yep. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them. Until the day Elwyn's sons returned. Yep. And now that they were meant for me. has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. My bearers. My bearers? Bearers? Huh. So what is he going to give us? Is he going to give us something? Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to East Poole. I didn't recognize you. Oh, Master oh, Mayor. I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Wait, Master Mayor. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble. <laughs> You're telling me lots changed. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, Many who lost their masters fled here, in search of sanctuary. Damn. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the... Mm, you know, you know what we could really use? We could really use some a last time on Final Fantasy 16. Okay, so yeah, I remember now. Bearers are people that have powers, and then they have, like, the curse um, that, like, uh, freezes them. We saw Sid had a part of it, and, um, what is it? Dominance are bearers that, um, yeah, so, basically, bearers are people that use magic. They channel ether through their body to, in order to use magic, and magic is, like, frowned upon in society. Um, and then, dominance are bearers who are, have, like, a contract, or, like, they have a, they have a, an icon in their body, so they also have iconic powers alongside their, like, nor normal magic abilities. If, if I remember correctly, something like that. Bear, bearers. Sh shut up. <laughs> Sh shut up. I know. Okay. I'm sorry. I say the same thing with horror. People are like, what are you saying, Venta? When you say horror, are you saying horror? Horror games? No. Horror. I'm sorry. I say it quickly. Bearer. You, you, what do you want me to say? You want me to sound it out for you? Bearer. My fault. All right. All right. Fine. Fine. Call me out, I guess. Whatever. Whatever. Horror, horror, bearer, bearer. My bad. It's not my fault, okay? Words are hard. Not a bear. Dominants are not bears. <laughs> arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Breck. The duchy was dissolved, and they no longer had any home to return to. Damn. Back in your father's day. 
Any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. Yeah. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded, we knew that wasn't an option. Oh, I see. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me. They're yours by right, Lord Rosfield. Oh! Bequeathed you oh, so we have bearers as slaves, you mean? Be like we own them. Serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house. I see. And still consider the Rosfields their master. He said it like they were items or something. No one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I see. Okay. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions. Been daydreaming for too long. Yeah, life is crazy. I daydream Still, all the time. I would ask a favor of you. A small mercy. If it is within my power. One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn. Damn, that's crazy. I don't ask that you take him into your service. Only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives and that he's as fine a man oh my as a father ever was. It would be my honor. Fine, I guess Thank I can you, do that. My lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. Okay, I'll do it. Fine, I guess. Ugh. I was gonna go on my way and fight somebody, but now I gotta go show my face. My father. You're not Gosh. so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. Clive was never the same after getting branded. All he has now are the bearer necessities. The, ba the bearer necessities. <laughs> the simple bear bearer necessities. Forget about. Oh wait, fuck. Uh, you're. You're cursed to work forever it's until the curse takes your life. Fuck, uh, how do you say that? Well, I can't move the <laughs> I don't know. I've let the mayor down once already. It will be cruel to disappoint him again. Wait! Right. I'm ahead of you? No way! No way, Reimu Senpai! When did I get ahead of you? Unbelievable. Well, okay. Alright then. Take care. Take care. Thank you. But hey, now that I know that I'm ahead of you, that means I that means I can watch you. <laughs> I'm winning. I'm hashtag winning. Let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. Nice. I like it. Gosh. What am I supposed to do now though, that I'm a, that I'm ahead of Rengu Senpai? I guess I just have to bear with it. <laughs> Good day, milady. <laughs> what can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer, an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, that old loon. No, no sign of him today. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour, cooking up his fantasy feasts. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day. Still thinks he's there now. You'll often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. The late Archduke? What a dream he is, but better there than here, I suppose. Can't imagine the vice. Yup, no. Anyway, You'll be around here somewhere. Thank yep. You. There's no way. He's gotta be. You're gonna you're gonna have to bear with me for now. <laughs> Sorry. Well now. Unfamiliar faces. What brings you to Eastport? Well, we're actually we're looking for an elderly bearer. Hmm. You wouldn't happen to have Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits. <gasps> oh no, I skipped Jill's dialogue. Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with it? We yeah. Are, in a way. Well, then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. It wasn't Damn. the same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions. Well, yeah, because she's awful. The levies going up and up and up, even as the blight took half the harvest. Oh, listen oh, to me. I can't I'm wait. I can't really wait know. to I'm take sorry. her down, dude. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer, either. Though I doubt he'll have gone far. 
He comes here every day, almost as if he's waiting for something. <gasps> we'll Maybe he's waiting for me. Thank you. <gasps> no. Oh, I gotta go find this old man. Never mind, I've made it my my mission. Oh, hold on a mo. What? Patrick the Chocobo Keeper might know where your bearer is. He's taken the old boy under his wing, so to speak. You should go and have a word with him. He'll be in the stables. Patrick the Chocobo Keeper. Thank you. We will. Okay. Let's go then. I'm sorry, Jill. For making you do all this in my stead. Nah. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. God, I... I... Yeah, my ship has sailed, guys. This is it. It's over for me. I don't know who they, who else they can introduce at this point. Like, who's gonna beat Jill? How the hell do you beat Jill? How do you beat her? H how does she lose? How does she lose in this context? Don't actually answer that. Because maybe there are more characters I haven't seen yet. But how do you beat Jill? How the hell do you beat her? Hmm, where the bloody hell's he got to? Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. God, that must be unbearable. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. You must be Patrick. I am. And this bearer you're hmm. looking for, he's an elderly man who used to work... Yeah. In That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. Well, I've been talking around to some locals, bitch. Why are you so suspicious? Jeez. My God. Everybody's so weird nowadays. Huh. Patrick. Ah, so that's how it is. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on about to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he you're had You're on about to help me find saying him. Saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him, and that he needs yeah. to who was supposed to watch over him. Keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us... There's not a lot I can do. Well, it doesn't sound like you were doing a good job watching him, dumbass. Understood. You keep searching here. We'll look for him outside. <sighs> Thank you. I'm in your debt. Yeah, I know you are. God, yeah, walk away. Walk away. I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. Yeah, let's hope not. Jeez. This guy. Patrick out here. Her name just had to be Patrick too. Up now. Still no sign. Could he have strayed even further? At least you're at least you're making the name uh you're making good on the name. I don't know very many Patrick's. I just know a, a sea star. Wait, a sea star? A starfish? Shit. <sighs> Never mind. Who do I know? I question everything at this point. Sea star, starfish, they're like interchangeable, honestly. No, no, it, the it sea star is the same thing. We should hurry. <laughs> Company. We can't lead them to the All right, it's time to time to shake off a bit of this Agreed. rust. Mm. Wake winds. Well, shit. Okay. Okay. Nice. Yeah, no, no, no. I remember this. I remember how to play this game. Yeah, look at that. Okay. I just had to think for a second. You know what? You, you, you guys, you guys, you guys focus on like, on like these. These, these little things that I do, and I'm just like, man, I'm just out here trying to live my life, and you guys are just like, Sea Star? Sea Star? Ha 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 ha. What are you gonna say next, Spongefish? Like, you know what? Whatever, dude. Whatever. 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 Everybody out here just point out all these things. Sea Star isn't even technically wrong, okay? It's a star that's in the sea, okay? Okay? It's not even really wrong. Like, if you really think about it, I'm actually correct. I'm, it's actually not an incorrect statement, you know? It's actually not wrong. Like, like, I bet you guys would make fun of me if I said, 
like if somebody asked me what is like what is like 2475 times like 48 you know like i would say it's at least two and you guys would be like oh my gosh that's so wrong but like technically it's not wrong no because obviously the value is way larger than two but technically saying it's two isn't totally incorrect because like two is a part of that number you know like two is within that number so it's at least two it's got to be at least two right like i'm not wrong i'm not right but i'm not wrong you know you guys you guys you guys are just you guys are just pointing out the wrong stuff you're focusing on the wrong things you got you got to shift your focus okay you got to shift your focus i've been through a lot the past 24 hours losing my pc i've had some time to meditate you know i've really had some time to think and reflect on right, life my friend come on let's go home it's changed my perspective you came for me. I waited for you so long, but you finally came. I'm not who you think. Clive. Oh, he looks just like his dad. I forgot. <gasps> Wait. Yes. Pray forgive my long delay. Oh. <gasps> it's nothing you're great. Yo. I prayed to the founder that you would come. No, that's so cool. Last. He answered. Will we be returning to the castle then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens. Oh, wait, no, never mind. This is sad. We will not be returning to the castle. Not yet. I'm on a very important expedition. <laughs> one which may take some time. Could you wait for me in Eastpool? Until my journey is complete, I will come back for you then. I promise. Oh no. Of course, your grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. Oh my god. Wow. I like I had a moment there where I was just like, oh yeah, you know, he's just acting like his dad. And I was like, this is fun. This is this is kind of cool. No, this is freaking sad, dude. What the fuck? Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. I gotta make sure I go visit that man. Of serving the late Archduke was his one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. <laughs> it's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. Wow. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half her worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep hmm. the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them wow. soon enough. Is it really that bad? So bad. I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damn near spat in our faces. Wow. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. God, I can't I wait to fight everyone. Said, who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Let's Thank go. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much Ooh. like to speak with Ooh, you. I don't really want to talk. If you have the time regarding the future of the village. Ooh, yeah, and what I, might be done maybe. for Lady Hannah? After all, she's done for us. You know, possibly. Yes, I'll be back anon. Okay, fine then. Fare yes, well, we will. My lord, my lady, I wish you a safe journey. All right, let's go. We got places to be. Look at all that money. Hmm. Okay, so wait, we're not gonna get slaves is what I'm understanding. We're not gonna get workers. Man, that would have been super useful. Although I shouldn't even act like I'm depressed about it. I like fighting by myself. Like, I already have Torgal, and I forget to use him all the time. So like, I shouldn't even act like I would want more people. Honestly, the more people that are in my party, the the worse things are for me. 
I just, people just get neglected and I end up focusing and tunnel visioning on one of the characters. It's the worst. Like, like what's it called? You know, you know what's like, you know what's like the worst one for me? What I'm the worst at? You guys ever played Divinity Original Sin? Or Divinity Original Sin 2? In those games, I have to do a double lone wolf. I have to do double lone wolf. I have to because the Deadlands are aptly named. I simply can't do I four people. I can't. I can't. I can't manage a party of four people. It's impossible. Light is leading the ether from the soil, and when the last drop is drained, their fields will turn to this. No plants. No animals. I simply can't. No life. It's impossible. No monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. So I, I do double lone wolf. That's the only way I can play. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. This is, I, I just, I forget. Like, it's just too much for my brain to manage. So I like to. Hello, Vanta. A little birdie told me you were molding in melatonin. Would you care to comment about this situation? Um. Yeah, no. Melatonin is like a drug, isn't it? How do you mold in that? That doesn't even make any sense. So, like, yeah, somebody, that person was definitely lying. Like, like, that doesn't even make any sense. Like, what? What are you talking about? Like, the, the, the medication that you take for sleep, the, like, the, exo the exogenous form of a naturally produced uh, chemical by the human body? Yeah, no, that's fake. Uh, how do you mold over something like that? Like, why, melatonin doesn't make me mad. Magic here. Another thing to worry about, as if the absence of ether didn't cause enough problems. Take away the lad's life force. You know. And problems are all that's left. So... I, I def- I definitely didn't. Honestly, the only way melatonin makes me mad is when people, like, say that it's something they take every single night, like it's a good idea. It's never a good idea to take melatonin every single night. At least not the typical, uh, supplements. This place used to look like before the blight took it. I remember. But it's never a good idea to take a sleep aid every single night, every night long. anyways. Unless you just have to. See, so, yeah, I know. No, 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 I don't know what you're talking about. Why would, why would melatonin make me mold? Impossible. I'm simply enjoying Final Fantasy 16. No, no, that's fake. That's there fake. There it is. Phoenix Gate. <gasps> We're back! Where it all went wrong. Come on, Clive. It's time to discover the truth. <sighs> All right. Oh, yeah! I remember now! This game was making me think. Okay, okay. So now I remember what, now I remember what was going on, guys. Okay, so. So here's the deal, okay? Here's the deal. So, if you don't remember last time, basically what's going on is that we, when we went to go fight Garuda, so 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 basically what's going on is that we, Clive, just found out that we are uh, Ifrit, the second uh, the second icon of fire that killed Phoenix. I think what 13 years ago, ergo J uh, Joshua, who is the Phoenix. Who harbors the Phoenix Icon, the Icon of Fire. Um, we killed him. We just found that out. And then when we were fighting Garuda, we transformed. We transformed into Ifrit. We found out the truth. But then, the guy that was in the hood, the other dominant, quote-unquote, that had been captured by Benedicta, that we saw when Joshua transformed into the Phoenix for the first time, uh, at the Phoenix Gate. And... But, but, but then that guy that had the hood on took his hood off, and it was future Joshua. It was Joshua from the future. But what doesn't make any sense is that that version of Joshua appeared when our Joshua was still alive. So, the theory that I've come to the conclusion of is this. Phoenix has the power of resurrection, right? Phoenix has the power of resurrection. He, he can resurrect. He can, like, bring people back to life. He can come back to life. So the Phoenix never really dies. So when we, quote-unquote, killed Joshua the first time, technically we didn't really kill him. He was going to come back. He was uh, he was going to be reborn in some kind of way. But the thing is, is that the theory that I've come up with is that Phoenix's powers are like 
they, they transcend time and space in some kind of way. Because otherwise it makes no sense why future Joshua was present when past Joshua was still alive. Like future and past Joshua existed simultaneously. Didn't make any sense. That or it was just a vision. So there's two theories. One presently, the main one that I believe is, is more plausible, is that Phoenix's powers transcend time and space because future Joshua didn't make an appearance until after our Joshua transformed into the Phoenix completely. And then we transformed into Ifrit at, at the site of seeing, um, uh, at the site of uh, future Joshua. And then the other theory is that the only reason we saw him is because we're, we harbor the other icon of fire and we have some kind of connection to Joshua. But that doesn't fully explain why a future Joshua showed up in the first place. So I'm confused. Honestly, we don't even know if he's Joshua. Maybe he's an Assian for all we know, you know? Maybe he's just an Assian. Maybe that's just like La Habrea, just chilling, you know? Like, who knows? Maybe he's gonna bust out the mask and he's just gonna go, ha 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 ha. You know? Like, I have no idea what's going on. It's, I feel like it's, it's just constantly a mess. Who knows what's happening anymore? Oh, wait, is there a quest over there? Like it could it could be anything at this point. It could, he he could he could be an Asian. He could be. Actually, now that I think about it, older Joshua was really pretty. He's a really he was a really pretty kid. He's a really pretty boy, you know. So like, like he like like so may, maybe maybe oh my gosh maybe maybe he's maybe he's Demis. Oh, who knows? Hmm. Who knows? Here, you're that bearer who works for Martha, aren't you? Can you give me a hand? Curse my luck. I dropped hmm. my crystal off a cliff into the bloody swamp like an... Sir, you were cooking really hard. Uh, let me give you five-star <laughs> five star Michelin Martyr for that theory. Food. I don't know. It's the only thing that makes no, any I've sense. I've got your knack, see, and I need that shard to chill my fish if I'm to take him to market. Well, it's just a short climb down. I'll make it worth your while. Okay, give me money. I can't promise anything. Well, just promise yeah. you look. Ah, there may be one I'm not thing sure, I failed to mention about the crystal. I claimed it. All right, eaten it, but 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 only. Made... All right, fine. Oh, don't yep. worry. There, there there weren't too many of them. A veritable walk in the marshes. They... Yeah, no, not for me. But yeah, that's the only thing that makes any kind of sense in my brain. That like somehow the phoenix's powers transcend time and space. That's the only thing that makes any kind of sense to me. I have to find him before the Imperials do. Like, otherwise, I just don't really get it. Can't talk now, I... And it wouldn't oh, be the most shocking oh, thing, because Yoshi P is over Martha this game, and uh, he has explored time travel blade. before. I won't say in what expansion, because that's spoilers, Where are you going? but... Not far, I hope. Well, I dare not waste a moment. It might cost but, a man uh, his life. It's, it's possible, it's possible. What happened? Not so much what happened as what might. They've discovered he's a bearer, see? And now, hmm. one of his erstwhile friends and neighbors wants to see him clapped in chains. Where is this bearer? He wasn't fool enough yeah, I'm to talking about after 14. To arrive. Poor sod took to the road, left his whole life behind. They'll yep. be after him before long. I need here. If you have the time and the inclination. Yep, I'll do it. Wait! Was that just no money just now? What? Fuck. That fucking snake played me false. Whoa. I should like you. Have they said fuck yet in this game? <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to say fuck, dude. Holy heck. Have they said it already? I swear I'm. Wow. Wow! Okay. He was one of us, and the old time he was one of them. I. We need him caught and handed over to the Imperials. <laughs> Hanging's too good for him. Well, go on then. If he gets away, I'll see you fitted for a noose. Fitted for a noose. All right, Ronald. Wow, dude. And his name is Ronald. This one's here to help. I was just filling him in. <laughs> Send a bearer to catch a bearer, is it? Not bloody likely. That's it. I'll find the bastard myself. All right, Ronald, calm down. Oh, no, Ron. It's dangerous out there. We wouldn't want you to come to oh any harm. Oh, my God. You want something done that right? That fucking you snake. Bearer. Clive, this might take a while. You start hunting our man, and I'll be along once I put Ronald's mind at ease. Someone said they saw Norris heading for All the right. Fallen Gate. Maybe you could ask if anyone over that way knows anything. We have to find him. Don't let him slip through our grasp. 
All right, I'm going. I'm going. I don't even know if I want to do this quest. It sounds like a lot of work, and I'm not getting any money for it. I better find this Norris before Ronald takes Sounds like a waste of hands. time. There is a hardly difficult to spot. <laughs> what did he mean about being played false? I wonder. Thank you for the super, by the way. But that's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I can only do his voice as well as I can because I watch his channel so much. I love Matt Pat so much, dude. I still watch his videos. Like, like I, I watch his videos about shit that I'll just I'll just never know about. Like, like when he came out with Food Theory, I was like, give me that, give me that. Never heard of crabs eating crystal. Like, I'm I'm never gonna need this information in my life, but I want to know. Like, like, is, is, is the grocery store a good place to hide during the zombie apocalypse? Oh, sure, you know? I feel like that information is not relevant to me at all. Like, why would I ever need to know that? But, like, man. I just, I just need all of his stuff in my life. All of his videos, I just love everything. He's just dangerous. But I mean, to be fair, I think most of my YouTube, uh, most of the content that I ingest in YouTube is stuff that has no relevance to me personally. Things that I'll just never do. Things, things that have no value to me, you know? So I mean, but I guess that's, that's the whole point of entertainment. If it's truly entertaining, you could watch it and it has no, it has no actual value to you. It doesn't actually add anything to you. You're just like, oh yeah, I learned something. I came, I came away from this and I learned something. I'm never going to utilize this knowledge in the real world, but now I have it. And who knows? Maybe you have a conversation starter later, you know? <sighs> like, hey, did you know that uh, in Attack on Titan, it's actually not, uh, it, uh, what is it? In Attack on Titan, they, it's actually better for them to not leave the walls. They should just never leave the walls. Like, a apparently, they are perfectly capable well, of surviving with the land that you they had. There was no reason for them to ever leave. They should never have left. Or should never have tried to leave. You found it! Oh, thank you! <laughs> yeah, like, in his theory video, he basically, um, uh... He basically said that because of the amount of space that's within all three walls and the amount of actually farmable land, any longer out in the sun and my cash uh, made for pork. there's literally no reason for them to leave the walls. Oh, they can survive they just fine, no matter how big no their population gets. The nets of a morning if I'm without a crystal to see the cash to town. It was a time so there's actually no benefit for them to leave the walls, they unless they just and want to sightsee, you know? For love nor money. Crystals are scarce, and the Empire tightens its purse strings more every day. Lose this little beauty again, and I might as well scrap my nets and take to begging. Okay, that's very true. The walls did get destroyed. But, you know. <gasps> huh, these side quests are interesting, but I do them quick. Wait, how is that? That's not spoilers for the show. <laughs> hey, don't talk about Attack on Titan spoilers. That show is amazing. Don't make people, don't, don't give people a reason not to watch it. If they haven't watched it, then they can go watch it. Don't spoil anything. The fact that the walls are destroyed is not a spoiler. That literally happens in the first, like, moment of the first episode. We're talking about... You don't know a man called Norris, do you? <laughs> All right. I do, as it happens. He ran off that way not too long back. Looked like he was in a right all hurry. I know I did, okay? Look, 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 okay. You know what? Fine then, fine then. You know what? You know what? No, I was just talking about a Matt Pat theory video. Make you for the marshes, then. That's all. I was just talking about a Matt Pat theory video. You barely have to step out. That's all I was talking about. <laughs> I wasn't talking about anything else. That's what Matt Pat said they shouldn't leave the walls. Far. There's no reason for them to. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. People should still watch it because Attack on Titan is the greatest anime to ever exist. I'm an Attack on Titan shill, and I stand by my opinion. The one Norris was carrying, no doubt. At least I know which way he went.
Someone made sure work of them. Mm. I wonder if that someone was Norris. Mm. Yeah, I mean, what's it called? The way the way I look at it is this. It's one of those things where I mean, I've kind of mentioned it before, but it's basically like if you don't like Attack on Titan or if you don't like any show in particular, that's totally fine. Like there's tons of really amazing things that I don't like, and there's tons of really really bad things that I love. That's the subjective part of loving art. Art is a subjective thing. However, there are objective qualities to art that we can judge them by. So, something can be objectively good, like you, so, like a movie or a video game or a story can have objectively good writing, objectively good character development, and objectively meaning like, what is it? The story thematically makes sense, you know? There's not any wasted dialogue. Um, the characters, all, all of the characters' arcs make sense within the parameters of the story. Like, every, everything is kind of in line with one another, you know? The story is on track, and there's never any, like, plot holes or anything like that. Like, that's that's objectively good writing. So it's kind of hard to say that something's bad writing when it, it utilizes all the tools at its disposal very well. But if you don't like it, it doesn't matter, you know? If you don't like it, you don't like it. But I feel like you can still recognize that something is objectively good and still not like it. I have plenty of things like that. Plenty of things. Although I do have a lot of guilty pleasures. Like, I like Sword Art Online. <laughs> Norris, I presume. Leave me be. You were never branded. So that's how you stayed hidden. Ronald <laughs> sent you after me, did he? Set an imperial dog on his best friend. And when we were so close, I'll never forget the hatred in his eyes. But it doesn't matter now. I will not become a slave. Mm. As one bearer to another, please. Don't do this. You know how they... Ronald didn't send me. One of Martha's men did. He wants Martha. To sure safe. God, I have Martha PTSD. That I one don't movie. Understand. Martha takes in Paris. She's a friend. We Believe me. Here. Just wait here and stay out of sight. You'll be among friends soon enough. Thank you. There's few would have been so kind and sorry. You're now imperial. Yeah, yeah I know I'm worth. I know I'm not. I found a lantern back there. Yep. Are there any shows that, in your opinion, Thanks. are objectively bad? I dropped mm. it when those creatures attacked me. But if I'm honest, I wasn't all that sorry to be rid of it. Mm. Ron gave it to me. All right. I'll keep hold of it. I might be able to use it to put an end to the Imperial Surge before it begins. Well, I mean, I don't know. Without a I, I get what you're saying, so uh, like I'll try to I'll try to answer the question in a way that in like in a way that works. By a friend. Uh, cause like technically, if something is objectively something, that it's not really your opinion, you know. Uh, like the moment the moment it is objectively a thing, it's no it's no longer your opinion. You are like, you are saying that that is what it is. Like, it is in fact that. It is irrefutable. However, again, you can still like it. Something can be objectively bad. As a matter of fact, I think the things that you like that are considered to be quote-unquote objectively bad by, you know, the standards that we've set as a society, if you like those things, those are the things that you really like, you know? Those are the things that you really love. If you love them despite the fact that they're bad, like, one of what, is what is it? What is, like, I can, I can give an example of something that's really, that's really bad, like, objectively bad that I loved. Um, like I said, SAO. I love that show. And I feel like, barely have to step out your it's, it's, it's got, it's got some writing errors. It's got some plot holes. It's got some character arcs that don't make much sense. You know? You know? There, there's some decisions that the writer made in that show that's just like, mm, maybe you could have did something else. But, the, you know, you know, you know, you know, I still love it. I love it to death. I've watched the first season like three times. I've watched Gungel Online like four times. I've watched the um <laughs> the Gungel Online spin-off like twice. I've seen each of the movies like two times each. I 
I am I'm I'm kind of a simp for SAO. Well, we <laughs> I can't stop watching era. it. I'll go myself. <laughs> I can't stop watching it. I love that show. But it's it's not great. Like, you know? And that's okay. Yeah, I just feel like SAO is just a fun show, like, you know? Some sometimes sometimes something feeds you in a way that no, nothing else can. Sometimes you need a really trashy power fantasy show to watch. You know what I mean? You, you need a you need a trashy power fantasy, and that's okay. That's okay. Like, actually, my guilty pleasure is isekais. I watch isekais, all of them. There are some really good ones, like you know, Slime, uh, Tensida, uh, Overlord. You've got a couple of ones that are like really, really good. They take the media, they take the medium, they take the genre, and then they really like sell it. But there are a lot that are absolute garbage, irredeemable trash, and I love them all. <laughs> In another world with my smartphone? Let me watch that shit. Arifureta? That's one of my favorite ones ever. Um, <laughs> like, there's so many that I love watching and love reading. I just, I just like Isekai. I, I don't know what it is, dude. I think that it's like, it's like that inner child in me that wants to, like, escape and, and have superpowers will never go away. It's never something that's gonna go away. There you are, Clive. How goes the search? Well branded. I just like it, you know. Bastard yet? Only what All right, Ronald. This bitch. A corpse, torn apart by monsters. Oh, I still have to watch the vending machine anime. I want to watch it. It can't be. So we consider that the end of the matter then. Or do? You... No, no. I, I hmm. mean, I've no use for bearer bones. He's dead. Yeah, Ronald, go away. It was had done what they were supposed to do, and letting a bearer go about without a brand. So <sighs> you want anything to do with me now, eh? There goes the bearer lover, they'll say. I'll be. <laughs> go away, Ronald. God. Is it true, Clive? Is Norrick? He's no, alive. he's alive. Find him in a hut in the marshes. Oh, you crafty! Come on, you know me. Still, you did the right thing. Thank you. It's not much considering, but please, take this. What did he give me? Is he gonna name me an item? Oh! <gasps> you know? But, like, yeah, I think that's really important. Because I feel like... I really feel like a lot of arguments on the internet are a result of people not knowing what the definition of objectively is. Like, objective. And not knowing how to use it. Cause some people will just use the word objectively. You know, and then... But but it's their opinion. It's like, no, that's not correct. It's, it's not your opinion if you're saying that it's an objective fact. Objective means that it's not including any personal feelings. It's not including any personal biases. It is what it is. You know? There's, there's no... There's no disputing it. I feel, I feel like, I feel like so many arguments could be resolved if people would just understand the difference. Like, people will argue over a show's quality forever, you know? And I feel like to some degree, sometimes it's fun. Like, maybe, maybe one person liked the way a character's, ar a character's arc went. They liked the direction that it went. And then another person didn't. And then the thing is, is that they will look at the story and look at the events that happened to that character and say, no, this should have happened. Like... You're looking at a story, analyzing it, breaking it down, and coming up with another direction that this character could have been taken in. That's so cool to me, dude, you know? Like, that, that, that level of critical thinking is so nice. And I feel like people don't appreciate that, because they're busy trying to prove the other person wrong. <laughs> it's really sad. A lot of really nice discourse is sadly uh, mud muddled by arguments and yelling matches, shouting matches. Like, people don't realize how smart they are. You know. To be honest, I'd rather watch a bad show that's entertaining rather than a good show that's boring. Yeah, exactly. If you don't like the show, it doesn't matter how objectively good it is. It doesn't matter how many awards that it has. Oh, this this is the best show in, you know, in 2023. This is the best movie in 20... Well, not to me. I don't like it. I thought it was boring. And that's all that matters. Who cares about what anybody else thinks? That's, re that's, that's ultimately what matters in the first place. I think the only time you should really worry about objectively, like liking something or objectively trying to understand something is if you're like a writer or a journalist if you're not why do you care 
It's so tiring. You know, I feel like I've been saying you know a lot. I'm calling, I'm calling myself out. No more you know. Thank you for the super. Thank you so much. And, th and thank you as well, by the way. Uh, I appreciate that. Stressed out at work. Thank you for the comfort stream. Also, I can't wait for membership, so I can I can call to my heart's content. <laughs> Thank you for the super memberships. Oh gosh. Okay, I need to open the map. Not this. We need to get out of here. No. Here. Okay, now we're starting the story again. I just wanted to do those side quests because I want exp. Story time. God, I forgot how pretty this game was. Fuck. 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 Clive. Save some for the rest of us, dude. Goodness me. It's almost as if time had stood still. God, dog, sh Jill. I suppose no one had any cause to return here. Huh. No. It's just as I left it. Oh, Clive. Oh my god! I completely forgot! I'm sorry if any of you have been, like, dying. Get it, boy! Oh, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy, Torgo? I feel good, boy. Okay, sorry. Some of you were probably disgusted with me. <laughs> Streamer not petting Torgal. Could anyone? Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Vinta. What is it, Torgal? What's going on? That's him. Oh, snap! Oh! He's the only one who can tell me what happened. It's future Joshua. Oh, shit. Oh, snap. Oh, my God. We're gonna find out the truth. What's gonna happen? I must know. I need to know if my theory was right. Where is he? Nowhere to be seen. I'm telling you, he's like a... He, he feels like a spirit or something. Like, he's not here. Because he just shows up and disappears. He seems like he's only there when he needs Damn to it. be. He's like a bloody eel. Hmm. What is this place, anyway? Some sort of shrine? Oh, sorry. You've never been here before. This is the Hall of the Gate. The Gate? It's a relic of the Fallen. Only the Phoenix's dominant can open it. <gasps> oh. Hence the castle's name. This was where Joshua was supposed to... Wait, so what does that mean? Yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning. And listen to the words of our ancestors. Would you have gone with him? No. The apodotry is holy ground. None but the dominant may enter. I and the other shields would have stood guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. But what is he, though? 
Hmm. Where the hell did he go? Perhaps he went inside. He couldn't have. He'd need the power of the Phoenix. Oh. Wait, no way. Can No way. What? How can we get in? I know we have some of the power, but what? How the f How the hell? Thank you. Joshua. Oh. Are you sure about this? What? Hmm. Never more. Is our is the blessing that we received from Joshua enough though? How does that work? Hmm. What could this mean? Oh. Oh, the interior of this area looks really interesting. It looks very familiar. You guys, you guys know what I'm talking about? Let's see if this it looks happens. very Final Fantasy. I don't know if that makes sense. Very Final Fantasy. Could this place really be a fallen ruin? Oh. Could hardly call it a ruin. This place is so pretty. It's perfect. Like it was built yesterday. Have you ever seen anything like this? What? <laughs> hmm. What are we fighting in here? This is 1000% an arena. How did you not see that? Jill. Oh, it's an elevator. It's going down for real. Okay, I'm not singing that. <laughs> oh, shit. Nice. What do we do? The usual. Everything works the same. Yeah, these guys weren't that difficult. Actually, they weren't difficult at all. We kind of ate them up for breakfast. Oh, snap. Are these guys stronger? Oh, these guys have... Oh, these guys float. And they have, like, two legs. Oh, shit. That's enough. Okay. Whew. You thought you were gonna do something to me. Wait, did she just freeze him in midair? What? Is she sub zero? I mean I know she's Shiva, but like It's <laughs> over. I wasn't expecting that. How can these things still function? How can any of this? This must be what the fallen ruins were like before they fell. Hmm. Oh, over here. I straight up took damage in that last fight. I gotta start paying attention. These guys are shooting lasers at me and stuff. Okay, so you can attack cancel. I never actually tested that. Yeah, you indeed can. You just have to commit to that role. Otherwise, it's dangerous. Stay down. Uh, okay. I'm getting a feel for everything again. Everything feels right. God, Jill is so cool. 
Oh, is this a chest? Everything looks so nice in here. But yeah, like, I swear, this area, like, everybody was like, well, you are playing Final Fantasy, Vanta. Of course this place would look very Final Fantasy. Look, you know what I mean, okay? I don't know what it is, but these ruins somehow look Final Fantasy. I feel like this, this style, this, like, design is very consistent across the games. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. I haven't played very many Final Fantasies, so I, I feel like I'm not qualified to comment on this. Like, literally, I've played Final Fantasy 13, 2, 15, 3, and 14. So, I haven't played much. High Fantasy. That's what it's called. Looks like it can take a beating. Then let's give it now. Ooh. Oh, you know, I'm gonna try to parry. Oh, never mind. I'm not gonna do that, actually. Oh my god. Okay. Jeez. Ooh. Beyblade, Beyblade, let it rip. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna slow down. There we go. Ooh. Not today. Oh, I remembered you can do this. Oh, I forgot about this move. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't think that moves for AoE. Or that moves for single target. But that's fine. I can do the Phoenix move, like, from, uh, I think that's, that's what's it called, Limit Break. That's Summoner's Limit Break. Not today. Oh, that takes a long time to load. Woo! The damage is... I'm learning. These guys have a lot of HP, though. They're tough. I dodged that in the air, though. That felt crazy. So, that's interesting. Utilizing that, so if you're fighting a boss where you can't pull them towards you, you'll like jump in the air when you use Garuda's thing, Garuda's Talon. That's really interesting. I wonder how you can utilize that in combat. I feel like elevation has a lot of value in this game, but I'm not quite sure. Like, I can really just straight up pull an Obi-Wan on them. Just go like, I have the high ground now. But, is that something I want to do often? I feel like the high ground's only useful in like, and like shooters. You know, what if we're just imagining the hooded guy? What if he's fake? No, no, we saw him in a separate scene from Clyde. Oh my god, it's the bombs! Holy shit. Oh, you know what this place looks like? You know what this place actually looks like to me? I just thought about it. It looks like... It looks like, like, imagine if it was a, I'm thinking specifically a 14. This place makes me think of a deep dungeon. It looks like what a, what a deep dungeon would look like. It feels like a deep dungeon. It feels like a deep dungeon. That's what it feels like to me. Like, this would totally be one. Like an out, like elegant. It looks like, it looks elegant. It looks like elegant technology. Except, I guess, a, li a little bit more medieval. Because elegant technology is usually more futuristic. But this looks like an, a more advanced old civilization. Like, it's an old civilization, but they were way ahead of their time, you know? It feels very, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. 
I can only use 14 to compare, because 14 is the is the only game I'm most familiar with. <laughs> Would Joshua have had to run this gauntlet too? No. At least not that I ever heard about. I imagine the Phoenix would receive a warmer welcome. Okay, I was gonna say Crystal Tower, but I wasn't sure. I was like, is Crystal Tower a good call on this one? Crystal Tower. It, is, it doesn't. It doesn't not look like Crystal Tower. I think Crystal Tower works. Here we go again. Gothic. Well, we Gothic is a good time. one too. Surrounded by hmm. contraptions hell bent on murdering us, I expect. Could the hooded man really have taken this path? We won't know until we've followed it all the way to the end. Come on, let's keep looking. I don't know. It it does feel like it would be a version of Crystal Tower. Yeah. Honestly, with the with the way with the layout and the way that it feels. But now that I think about it, Crystal Tower was also Allegan technology in uh it also originated from the Allegans uh in 14. And yes, also 14 is a very good game. I wouldn't recommend getting into it though. Not this time. The reason I wouldn't recommend getting into it is well, I wouldn't recommend getting into it until you are like prepared to um uh until you're prepared to not play anything else for several months. Stay down. Like once, once you're prepared to like sell your soul and never, never play anything ever again, you're only gonna play 14. That's when I would say you should play it. I think that's the, that's the best time for the average person to play it, you know? Like, make, make sure, make sure you're not doing anything. Make sure you don't need to be productive for, like, several weeks, you know? That's, that's when you, that's when you play 14. That's when you play 14. If you have things to do, though, don't play 14. If you know that you have, like, a busy schedule, maybe you have a busy life, maybe you're playing multiple games, just don't. Don't do it to yourself, okay? Oh, my God! Bro, can you get off of my nuts? I'm trying to have a conversation out here. No, shut up. Oh, everybody just bothering me. I'm trying to talk about Final Fantasy XIV. The critically acclaimed MMORPG with a with a free trial. All the way up to level 60. That includes the award-winning uh, expansion, Havensward, with no limit on playtime. <sighs> this guy wants to stop me for some reason. <sighs> Thank you for the super. I sold my soul to FFXIV for a good amount of years, and I still don't regret it. It was a good time for the amount I spent monthly. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's what I like to hear. It's it, I feel like I feel like it's That's definitely a worthy use of your time. Like you know a game is good when you can go into Steam and then look at the reviews for it and then everyone has every all the reviews like all the top reviews say it was I or like it was cool. Um it starts off weak, but once you once you get a few hours in, then it really starts to get going and every single one of those reviews has like 5000 plus hours in the game. That's how that's how you know that it's a good game. That's how you know when everybody's just like, uh, it's it's okay, it's all right, it's pretty good, I guess. I feel like that's the funniest thing. You'll find so many of those in the in the Steam page for Final Fantasy XIV. It's literally a bunch of people going, eh, it was all right. That's it. <laughs> That's how you know. So yeah, but 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 I'm actually not joking. It's I know it sounds like a joke. Like, uh, oh, Vanta's 
Vent is joking, right? Like, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not kidding. Do not commit to that game unless you know that you have nothing else to do. Ow. Oh, it exploded! Oh my gosh, it's like it's a bomb or something. Seriously. Uh, the reason I say it, though, is because um, it's it's a really long story. And it's one of those ones that it pays off. The, like, like It's really, really good. It's a really, really good story. And you're going to fall in love with every single one of the cast. And you're not going to want to stop playing it. But it's not your. It's not like you know Final Fantasy 16, where you can like beat it in like a day or two. You know, if you like binge it. 14 is one of those long games. It's a commitment. And if you're a social person, and you join like a free company, and you start talking to people and doing stuff, then it's even more time. Like I know so many people that started the game, and then because they got addicted to crafting, or you know because they made friends and started doing content. And started doing other stuff or they found like a side thing they were addicted to like i don't know getting a relic weapon or um getting a certain class or getting all of their classes to max level or something like that they almost never finish the story it takes them forever to like they'll be stuck in one expansion forever because they're just like oh my gosh i can't stop playing triple triad like i don't know dude <laughs> huh? oh this isn't good What's this? I don't like this. Who's this? Oh! <gasps> I have no fucking idea who this is. He looks familiar though. He looks like he looks like the Delahan. But he doesn't but he has a head. So it can't be a Delahan. Oh, okay. Oh, I stepped into that. That's cool. I keep dodging too early. Okay. Okay. I thought I, I thought I was gonna get the timings right, but I did not. What does this guy look like? It looks like Magitek something. Damn it, dude. Okay. Perfect. I like to really learn parrying in this game, but it feels so bad. It doesn't feel right to parry in this game. That or I'm just bad. Ow. Like, I would try and parry this guy, but he takes off so much of my health when I, when I get hit. Press the attack? It's drawing in energy. Not for long, it isn't. Oh. With me. Oh. Oh, this is neat. Wow, what an interesting new mechanic that they just they just added in. Huh. You gotta you gotta press the attack. You know, I wanna believe that maybe, maybe just maybe, all these concepts of like keeping up time and constantly doing damage. Maybe. Give me 
Does this mean that Yoshi P will eventually start um, opting to promote people to do DPS in 14? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll start playing that game again. If, if, if that's the case. Maybe. Just maybe. They don't take 13 years in a dungeon. Because... I have a... I have a... A free, a free cure fisher in my party. I would like that. Wouldn't that be nice? I don't know. I really like that, dude. I really like that. I feel like that's something that should be present in more games. I want more games that recognize, like, hey, the enemy is not doing damage right now. You don't have to heal your party right now. But no. No, probably not. I'm not caught up this far, so I can't savor this one. But I can't have you dropping your guard. <laughs> It's done. Thank you for the super. <laughs> hmm. Oh shit! What are these creatures? And why do they keep attacking us? I mean, they're clearly a part of the system. What's happening? They're probably asking themselves the same thing. We're the ones trespassing here. Are we? They're just protecting their home. Jill, look. Why? Show me! Video game? What is this? That's some kind of mural. It's worth a closer look, whatever it is. Oh, items to pick up. Huh. Proud of you for not trying to eat the Iron Giant. Look, look, okay? He doesn't look like chicken. But raw iron does look like chicken. Hmm. What could this... Mm. <gasps> wait. Wait, wait, wait. So... Joshua would have used his used his blood as the as the dominant of the Phoenix in order to go in and according to Clive and I quote hear hear the words of our of our ancestors. Hmm. If if the dominant of the Phoenix goes in here go goes in goes through this trial to hear the words of, of their ancestors, why would it be so far fetched for the past to talk to the future. Current us to mingle with the future us. Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. And then maybe... Mm, I'm not really sure. Maybe the reason that Clive can see or can interact with the, that dominant in particular, it, it either has to do with them being related or because he's he's the other dominant. He's, he's the other dominant of the other, of the second icon of fire. I don't want to believe it's by blood, though. I feel like blood would be such an easy way out. But, like, also, why is Clive the second icon of fire? Why is that? What's that about? I need to know. I need to, I need to find out more information. I gotta think. But, yeah. If, if, if he goes through this so that their ancestors can talk to him, it would make sense for us to be able to talk to the future versions of ourselves. That just makes sense. But why would a future version of Joshua be present in the present? Hmm. Who are we fighting? What right, then. the hell? What is that? Oh. 
when did is that looks like a warframe <laughs> this time oh shit he got me oh damn Very nice. I feel like that's not meant for when an enemy's down, but I keep using it anyways. much damage but I keep dodging too early this totally looks like a warframe though am I crazy for thinking that oh. again I dodged too early Yeah, that one was kind of quirky. It was not like the others. God, I feel like ever since Wilson used the word quirky, I can't not make that joke whenever somebody says it, I'm not like the others. I I just, I don't know, dude. <laughs> I'm not like the others. I'm kind of quirky. I feel like even if someone's saying it completely unironically, it's really hard to take that person seriously if they say something like, I'm not like the others, you know? Maybe that's just me. So comfy. My boss should thank you more. For, my boss should thank you for making me more productive. Hey yo, hey yo. Subscribe today and watch Ventacro bring your stream, and your productivity will be upped by fifty percent. <laughs> thank you for the super. I'm glad. I am very glad that that is the case. Thank you what so much. Another fallen wonder. Yeah, more than 5%. <laughs> Just maybe. 50%. Okay, uh, it's more, more than 5. More than 5. I liked more than 5. Thank you for that. More than 5 works best. That's a safer answer. Not clickbait. Real, not clickbait. All these guys. Stay down. Every time they bring out enemies that are supposedly the next level, the stronger enemies, they always give them legs. I'm hearing so many other things. The enemies that are just made up of their minds are like more powerful because they're just using their minds. Why do they have to have legs to be stronger? Crazy lights. Well, that did something. Okay, so something else is being unlocked. Oh, I see. Huh. What is this? Another little thingy? Oh, yeah, it certainly is. Mm. Oh, 
that's pretty. So we're finally gonna see what's next. So, it isn't a dead end after all. After all. Apparently not. Dude, Jill is so pretty. What the heck, dude? Sincere question, you enjoy pondering a game's lore? Of course I do. I love pondering a game's lore. It's one of my favorite things about games, especially games with a story like this. I like trying to predict the future because I feel like stories that have really good writing and because Yoshi P was at the head of this, I know that it has good writing. I like I like to see if I can predict where the story is going. I feel like I I feel like that's that's uh that's what a good story does. It rewards you for paying attention. So I try to like keep all the details in mind that I can to figure out what's happening next. But yeah, this honestly this this game might be my game of the year for making um uh, for for not only tickling my brain, uh actually it tickles my brain a lot. It tickles my brain lore wise, and it tickles my brain uh, pretty character wise. Room. And look what's in it. How old do you suppose this is? A thousand years. Oh, who the hell is that? More? What? Know. I've never seen anything like Wait, it. Wait, is that Ifrit? Who is that in the middle, do you think? Some sort of god. That's Ifrit. What? Oh, oh shit. Oh, snap. Oh shit! <gasps> you, you, you're him. The second dominant of fire. Oh snap! Who are you? What? Wait, 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 wait. Huh? What's going on? What? No fucking way. What? Oh my god. I, I'm back. It's E5S. Fuck. Oh no, we're back! Joshua! Oh no! Stop Please! Stop! Oh, are we gonna see what happened? Clive, you can't blame yourself for this. I failed you. <laughs> Joshua. 
Joshua died. I killed him. Oh. And I blamed another for what I did. To spare myself the guilt. I feared the Bai. Accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. Wait, what's happening? So I ran. From everything. And now? Are you ready to accept the truth? What? I am. I know it won't be easy, but it's what I must do. So that Joshua's soul can finally rest in peace. Clive. Are we gonna fight Ifrit? Come, Ifrit. Show me who you truly are. Oh shit! Were we just given the Phoenix power just now? Was that was that is that what happened? Wait, so that wasn't Joshua? I'm so confused now. Oh shit! Oh my god, it's actually Ifrit. Holy shit. Shit, so wait, what's going on? Wait, so that was fake? But no, we saw Joshua for ourselves with our own eyes. He has to be real. Yeah, wait, so I'm confused now. No, what would do? What is going on? Wait, does that work on him? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, it works. That's so that's sick as fuck. Foot again. We need them grippers. I need to like really train my brain to stop. I feel like whenever it comes to hitting feet, I always say, give me them grippers. I hate myself for it. So wait. Oh, I get it now. We're fighting Ifrit because we are literally, we are literally physically fighting ourselves. We're coming to terms with what happened. By fighting our past self, who ignored it. Who, who ignor ignorantly believed that someone else did it. Oh, wow. That's kind of sick. I like that. What an interesting concept. A very a very very literal and direct way of having your character face their past. I like it. I like it a lot.
That or something else is going on, and this is some astral projection. And we're actually fighting him, and it's it's not symbolic. <laughs> That's also possible. <gasps> Maybe Joshua's doing this. Oh! <gasps> oh shit! Oh! <gasps> oh wait, wait. Okay, maybe it is symbolic. <laughs> still, you deny it. Even with the truth staring right at oh, you. Oh, it is symbolic. I don't know, dude. Come on, Clive. Face your fears. I mean, maybe Josh was doing this? I don't know. This is so yeah. interesting. Oh, oh, okay. Hey, hey, you're using moves I don't have yet. That's not fair. Fucking me up. Okay. Get down here. Okay. Yeah, I should probably switch back my Phoenix moves. These don't do much damage, uh, at least when they're down. Where'd he go? Oh, snap. That's so cool! Are we gonna get to do that too? He did like an it's what? That's so sick! He did like an different transformation! You'd help me learn by example. Oh no, we're we're gonna learn! Oh my god, this is so anime! If we're actually gonna learn a new power by fighting our past self and, and coming to terms with our past. This is so cool! This is so anime! I love how anime it is! <laughs> I love how the game's not even trying to hide it either. Ooh. Oh, that's so sick! <laughs> Also, I, 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 I just can't help but, but, but bring up the comparison. I, 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 I love the, uh, the very clear 14 inspiration. Like, the fact that he's charging an attack and there's a very clear AoE indicator on the ground as to what's going to happen. But it's not, like, computer or, or MMO style at all. They make a very, like, artistic uh, way to effectively show AoEs and what's coming next. I love that, dude. Like, look at this! Oh, is he sucking me? Oh, that's what's happening. Oh, was it paying attention? This is such a cool fight, dude. I've I've loved every single one of these boss fights so far. I don't I don't think I've disliked a single boss fight.
Come here! Yeah, no, everything looks so good. Like, what a what what really cool fight design, dude. Now we transform? It's time to find out who we are. Once and for all. Alright. <laughs> hey yo! <laughs> this is so cool! He did it! Show yourself, you freak. Oh my god! Did I parry that? I parried that! What? How did I parry that? No way! I didn't- Why- Why can you parry that? I keep parrying shit by accident! This is so cool, dude! What a sick fight! And we get a new ability from it! Oh my god! Oh my god, dude! Oh my god! He's using Susano! Oh no, wait! That's just the straight up Jinchuriki transformation! Holy shit! Wait, can I do that too? This music too! Holy shit! You are not afraid. I am. <laughs> oh my! God. <laughs> Holy shit, this is so cool, dude. Oh my god! Holy shit! It's so perfect in every way! Wow. Truly, yeah, Kaiju. Oh my god. Truly, wow. I just, holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Clive, Clive after he grows up, 
hot. Clive, after he gets the new outfit change, twice as hot. Clive, after he faces his past and forgives himself for something that he had no control over, and and lets his lets his heart rest, relieving himself of the pain that he's been bearing for so many years now. That's like five thousand times as hot. He's so hot now. He's unbearably hot. He's burning hot. Oh my gosh, he's crazy. He's the hottest he's ever been. Oh my goodness. Good God. Good God, Clive. Wow. God dang. I know he's hot with that outfit on though. Like, good God, those pants. It's not your world, but sorry. Oh, God. <gasps> Holy heck. Clive. Wait, right? so was that Ifrit the entire time? And not future Joshua? Yes. What? It's nothing. I'll be fine. <sighs> Clive, are you gonna be okay? No more chasing shadows. The hooded man isn't here. We should Wait. Go. What? No, 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 no. No way. No way, dude. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Really quick, because I need, I need to gather my thoughts. Literally just at the end there. Do we have any active time lore to look at? In the year of realm of the realm 860, when Imperial forces attacked, there was... Mm. Okay, so no. That's what we know about. We know, we know that already. But in that, in that painting, in that mural that was on the wall, there was a bunch of cracks below where I, what I assume is Ifrit. Was that supposed to be the phoenix? Is that supposed to be like a representation of a new icon of fire taking the mantle? But we've seen... Okay, let me, let me, let me keep watching. Let me keep watching. I'm going to wait until the cutscene's over before I start theorizing. Hmm. Hmm. Clive, are you sure you're all right? Whatever it is, you can tell me. Yeah, you can tell her. I had a hard enough time telling myself. I awakened as a dominant of fire, right here in this castle, and I've been running from it ever since. But now I know for certain who I really am. The second icon of fire, who killed my brother and burned this castle to the ground, was me. Ifrit. Clive. Hmm. I took so many lives that night. And destroyed so many more. Including yours. And I must atone for the crimes I've committed. But not before I learn the whole truth. How can a second icon of fire even exist? And why was I chosen as its dominant? Yeah. Who is the hooded man who brought us here? And what does he want? Mm. I need to know. And since I'm still breathing, I might as well make myself useful. 
We'll find your answers together. I want to learn the truth too. There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. Aw. This is why we love Jill. You'd say that. I don't think I could do this without you. Oh. You never were one to hide from the truth. Even when we were young. And you haven't changed a bit. You're wrong. I have changed. Oh. But I don't want to be that person anymore. The things she did were unforgivable. Yet, Jill, they're what brought us back together. <laughs> Fuck. Thank you, Jill. Oh, my God. Now, <gasps> he's here. Then the disturbance I felt at the care must have been <gasps> confounded. The hour is later than I thought. Whoa, what? You can't just drop that on us after that heartfelt scene? Whoa, whoa, what the f- What? That was- Was that Joshua? Was that- His head- Well, this is the other dominant that was gonna smash Benedicta earlier. What's happening? Wait, wait, wait. We gotta slow down. Delivered. Who, who delivered the coffer said he said Sid paid him. Oh shit. Is that Is that Benedictus head? No way. You run amok with the rest of your rats, and this is how you repay me? Find out where he is. I'll crush him, flay him, rip out his heart, him, and all his filthy brood. Oh, shit. And send every last one of them to hell. Out. Out. Yes, yes, my lord. Is, is that Benedictus' head? That's the only thing I could think it would be. But no, Sid buried her. Was someone else at the side of her death? And... Hmm. It is her. Oh, it is Benedicta. Oh, so somebody, somebody was at the site of the battle and took her head. Who was it? We saw Sid. He, it looked like he was going to bury her, but he didn't. He left her body. He left her there. So somebody else found her and did that. Whoa. Yeah, no, it couldn't have been Sid. Sid's definitely being framed. We saw him. There's no way. There's no way he would do something like that. What does he have to gain from doing something like that? Oh, I see. Whoa, wait, wait. Slots for infinite abilities are shared with those for the Phoenix and can be confirmed. Oh, nice. Okay, I like it. Cool. Okay, okay, okay. So, lots of things just happened. Okay, so, Joshua was there. But here's the thing that confuses me, though. That's called the Phoenix Gate, and it was supposed to be for Joshua to do. 
We assumed that the only reason Clive could get in was because of the blessing that he received from Joshua. However, the person that we confronted at the end of it was a hooded man. It wasn't Joshua, though. It was Clive, and it was Clive facing his past. And that mural cl very clearly depicted what I assume was Ifrit. That didn't look like the Phoenix. It had to be Ifrit. So, what was that shrine, then? Was it still the Phoenix's shrine? Was it still the Phoenix Gate? Or was it something else? So, what next? And it said we Clive was destined to, to, to there, wield great again. power. About Lady Hannah, amongst other things. Mm. She may be loath to leave. I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid, too. All right. We should arrange an introduction, then. Huh. So that none of that none of that was Joshua was doing. Joshua wasn't even in the in the building. He wasn't even in the ruins with us. So, hmm, what could that mean? So there are somehow two icons of fire. But like, how? What does that mean? Hmm. Oh, that's sick. Hello? Whoa. That's so sick. Holy shit. That's such a cool move. Okay. Wow. Oh, wait. So you're telling me... Ugh, I, I have to get rid of one of these abilities in order to use it? No way. Can I just use Phoenix twice? No! <laughs> Fuck! I have to get rid of one of them! No! Fine, I'm using an ignition. Oh my god, I guess that's okay. It's the remix to ignition. Body. Okay, um. <laughs> god, there's no ability slots. That sucks, dude. Okay, no, I'm not using that. Oh. <laughs> when I hear ignition, that's like the first thing that comes to mind. <laughs> like. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Okay, so I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking right now. What could that mean? I mean, even though we've been given more information, we don't know the truth. The only thing that we know that we're sure of is the fact that... Hugo? Was that his name? I don't even remember. The big dude? The other dominant? I think he might have been Titan. Titan's dominant was kind of angry because he couldn't smash Benedicta anymore. Like, clear, clearly Hugo was putting... Was putting, uh... <laughs> he was putting the, the, the dick in Benedicta, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, so... So, I, I, don't, I don't know. He was clearly mad about something, but bro, that was not your girl. Do not be mad about Benedicta. Torgal, what is it? Nothing good, I'll wager. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Oh my gosh, bro. Gosh. Yeah, I mean, you know, honestly, not not even shocking to be honest with you. Like, you know, Benedicta being Garuda and all, she was probably really putting the wind in his sails. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Oh my god. Life is good, dude. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what to do though, dude. <laughs> no. No. What happened here? No. What do you mean? What happened here, Jill? Clearly, everyone's dead. Imperials. Fucking Imperials, dude. No! How the fuck? Remember our orders? No survivors! No way, dude. I can't believe it. That's enough. Ow. Oh, 
Holy shit. I... I just have no words. What the fuck? They just didn't want us to have a break. I thought we were gonna get some lore and learn some things. You know, for free. But of course it couldn't be for free. Oh my god! Ignition is so sick! What? Apparently, apparently, we can never be happy for more than like a few minutes at a time. I was, I was like, I was excited to talk about like lore with you guys, and then like all this shit happened. Just, we can't catch a fucking break. Oh, you know, that's a good point. I can't remember that limit break. I gotta remember that limit break actually exists. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, it goes out that fast? Jeez. Okay. God. At least we brought back some new toys with us to try out against the soldiers. That's kind of nice at the very least. But still, dude, wait, what about what about the old man that was supposed to be waiting for the king? Don't tell me he's dead too. Or even the mayor. Everyone's just gone? Please tell me. Please tell me it ain't so. The bearers and those who sheltered them. Oh my god. Empress Annabella's command. Princess Annabella. That fu my mother this. fucking bitch. Guy. Oh shit. Literally, it all it all back to Annabella. Actually insane. Kill her when we find her, right? She has to die, right? Oh. I thought that was gonna come out a lot slower than it was. Oh, I parried that! Dude. I keep getting hit by that for no reason. <sighs> I don't know, dude. I don't think I can just let her walk around like unchecked like that. That's just not gonna sit right with me if she's still alive. She has to go. Okay, I dodged that. Like what? Oh, I keep forgetting about this. Oh, it's too late now. Should have used that a lot earlier. But it's okay. What the hell, dude? Mm, 
This bothers me. I'm sorry, Lady Hannah. No! Fuck! <laughs> you did no! so much better. No! All of these people did. I... Better than my mother. I'm... Oh my god. They... Fucking... They killed Hannah. Too late. Oh Death. no. I am um, wow. Acting on the orders of the Duchess, eh? Wow. We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. Wow. The way father embraced them when the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. So people are born as bearers. But not all bearers but are slaves. Kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Yeah. Gav. We want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Hmm. Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. Wait. Okay. I'm thinking now. My brain is... The cogs are, are moving. The cogs are spinning. Now, Who the fuck? Rats, lead me to your nest. Oh, no. Lord Kupka's message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. Oh, no. <laughs> What the hell is this? No, please. Is this how, is this how, oh fuck, is he gonna die? Oh God. I was just, I don't even know who that is. He looks so mustache twirlingly evil though, the way he was acting. But okay. The cogs are spinning, guys. I've I've been thinking. I've been thinking about something. So, new theory. New theory. There was a bit of dialogue. I don't remember who said it. I could probably go back and look at the VOD. There was a bit of dialogue where they mentioned, how can there be two icons of fire? Clive asked it. I think it might have been Sid who said it. The only way a second icon of any kind of element can appear is if they show up and kill the current one. So what I'm thinking is that we were Ifrit from the beginning. And the reason why we were able to enter the shrine is because at the beginning, Ifrit killed the Phoenix and usurped his position as, as the current icon of fire. So Ifrit is the icon of fire right now. That's why we were able to enter the shrine, and why the mural was different as well. Why the mural depicted Ifrit instead of instead of um, uh, the, the phoenix, which is apparently what I imagine it was supposed to depict. So what I'm thinking is that at the beginning, when 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 we killed Phoenix as Ifrit, that was Ifrit usurping the position as the official icon of fire. 
And the reason Joshua is still alive, or at least what we assume is Joshua, the hooded guy, it's possible that due to the Phoenix's nature of, you know, being about rebirth and not really dying, that's why Joshua can still be alive. That's the only thing I can think of. That's the reason why Clive was able to get in without any help. It wasn't due to the blessing that we received from Joshua. It was due to the shrine now being the shrine of Ifrit and not the shrine of the Phoenix. That's 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 what I've come up with. That, that's that's like that's like my that's my tinfoil hat theory. That's the only thing I can think of. That's the only thing that kind of makes any 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 sort of sense to me. To sit solo then. We have a lot to discuss. So like, so it's possible Phoenix still exists, just not as the official icon of fire. Now, now Ifrit is is the is the official right. icon of earlier. icon of fire. Didn't sound happy. Phoenix has been usurped. And what do you want? Go on then. Hmm. That's the only thing that makes any kind of sense to me. It's I, I could very well be wrong, but that's what I'm Come thinking again. right now. The oh, only thing, the only problem with this theory, though, is that this theory isn't like anything new. It's it's not actually based off of any new information. Well, I mean, technically it is because we were able to enter the um uh, the shrine on our own. Well, and at the end of it, we fought Ifrit and not anybody else. You know, like like you know, if if that was the Phoenix Gate and it was meant for the Phoenix, don't you think we would have seen something Phoenix-like, and not witnessing the death of Phoenix again? And fighting Ifrit instead, like he said, once you go, once you go into the shrine, you're supposed to hear the the voices of your ancestors. Perhaps, yeah, actually, that makes sense. He he said he, Clive specifically said, he would act as a shield, and all of them would stand guard outside of the gate while Joshua took the trial and heard the voices of his ancestors. If this is the first appearance of Ifrit. And Clive is the first dominant, uh, you know, to wield Ifrit. He's the first dominant that has Ifrit within him. Like, this is the first appearance of Ifrit. Then the person that we talked to was our past self. Clive talked to his past self. Because that's technically his ancestor. His past self. His younger self. Because he's the only dominant of Ifrit to ever exist. So if we're going into that shrine to hear the voices of our ancestors, you know, and it's supposed to represent the current Icon of Fire, and that is Clive, then we go into the shrine, we gain access to it, to talk to our ancestors, but in this case, it's our past self, because nobody else has been the dominant of Ifrit before. So it has to be us. That's, that's what's in my mind right now, that's what I'm thinking. But, it's time to stop thinking. This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. <laughs> be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. Oh my god, he's back. He's back. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this... gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. Mm. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant, Ifrit, and there is nothing I can do to change that. Hmm. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk, no matter how colorful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. God, dog. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Hmm. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice 
Wow. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? That's very idealistic. That was the answer we found. Oh. The only one we need. My ship has sailed. Everyone, my ship has sailed. This is the end. It's over. Oh. 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 I love them. That's so cute. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then. With a sprinkle of fire and ice. This plan of mine might just work. Wow. What trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital. Oh no. And pay a visit to Mother. Wait, but that guy was tracking us. So does that mean we're going to come back to the to the hideout being decimated or is our plan going to be foiled? And the last of our farmholds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, you'll be hard pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but ball and bluster. Your radiance? Oh. Who's this? Oh, he looks just like a paladin. Looks, looks like the level 50 paladin gear. <laughs> if it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the crystalline dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we have sworn to respect. Gentlemen, did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that... Am I gonna like this guy? Do I like this guy? The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? Wow. But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. I think I like this guy. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. <laughs> Damn, we called out. Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance. I don't know what he's it saying, but mean a war of conquest. War. That is exactly what I mean. You said all this that time we expanded our dominion. I thought he was a good guy. Uh, this is the will of Great Grieger. Oh fuck! <laughs> I, I I didn't understand what he was saying. Apparently, shit. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legions? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do. Ugh. I mean, I like his fit, though. He's Where got a very nice son? fit. Who's the your Lord son? The Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Ortha. Oh. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. 
Tell him instead to see to his wound. So his son is Bahamut? Bahamut's strength will be needed again. Yep. Soon. As you command. Yeah, I was getting strong Ishgard vibes from all these guys. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the mother crystals are the reason the world is dying? What? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. All right, listen. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. And where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mine from the mother crystals. Oh, I mean... They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this here fits more easily in the pocket. Wait, is this... But the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. Is this news? So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind, well, I can't know everything, can I? We are taught that the mother crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? They ignored it. Who says they didn't? Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Yeah, they ignored it. Inconvenient to who, exactly? Everyone. <laughs> what? Magic is so useful. The higher-ups. The gods themselves. So now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Huh. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one... What say you? Are you with me? Oh... I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. Hmm... <laughs> you could have just said I. But it's nice to have you aboard all the same. I guess, is it not common knowledge that everything is made of ether? Maybe that's, maybe that's it. Because like, in well, most Final Fantasy worlds, too. like, it's pretty common it's knowledge that everything is made of ether. So, like, obviously when you use certain magics, certain types of magic that draw upon ether, you're literally sucking the life out of the world. So, yeah, like, that's not the most shocking thing. I guess maybe they just, it's just not, it's not like a well-known thing in this world. In this game's world, at the very least. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Ooh. We have new music. Ooh. I th so it's weird. I think ether is finite, but at the same time, it's not. I I'm if, if I'm being perfectly honest with you, 
I think ether literally like it's supposed to it's supposed to like literally allow worlds to completely die out and then to Take be born a anew if that makes sense <laughs> like ether is isn't finite but it is I don't really know I don't really know how to describe it I feel like it isn't though because like if I think about games like Final Fantasy 14 certain magics like white magic and black magic are both like illegal to use like you you can't practice them because when the black mage, I think I can't remember if it was the black mages or the white mages, but basically when when like use of them was like widespread, they pretty much destroyed like an entire like I can't even remember, but they completely sucked the life out of an entire like area, like to the point where it's un unlivable. I can't help but fear the worst. Where are you, Randall? Is everything all right? I don't know. Forgive me, young man. I was in a world oh. of my own. I'm worried about my friend, you see. It was the he truth. He left some time ago and hasn't returned. Yo. It's like how man for a bear on his own. <laughs> I leave the safety of the home away. Millie Senpai. Sad though it is. Millie and the family. Is the risk. The hideaway can't survive on goodwill alone. <laughs> and though Karen does what she can, Hi, Millie Senpai. I hope you had a good stream. I hope you had a good stream. I'm just a, that guy doesn't matter, honestly. We're we're, we're just talking to in a to a, it's a it's a side quest. It's a side quest. You're not a side quest though. You're a main quest. Oh yeah. Spoiler warning. Good call. Oh my gosh. Huh. Oh boy. I hope you had an amazing stream, though, Millie Senpai. Welcome, family. I hope you guys had a good time. My my mind is currently getting uh, broken by this game. And I'm probably going to be going for quite some time. So, you know. You know. Oh, wait, 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 don't misunderstand. I wasn't, I wasn't using any Riz. At wait, least not any intentional Riz. You were a soldier, were you? <laughs> In the Imperial Army. I was. Then I ask her. You know, you know, before, before I started this one... <laughs> I was, we, we were, we were all vibing out watching, uh, about to watch, what is it? Which one was it? The, oh, it, it was, it was, it was Illuna's, uh, it was Illuna's premiere of, uh, Virtual to Live. And we were just talking about just vibing out, just like, you know what, maybe, maybe we shouldn't, maybe we shouldn't do anything today. Maybe we should just chill. I don't know. I don't know. So, you know, you guys, you guys are saying like, I riz up Millie Senpai, but I, I feel like, I feel like Millie Senpai has, has pretty infinite riz if I do say so myself. God, speaking of which, did you guys listen to the cover? God, the cover was so good. <laughs> I don't know. You you guys don't don't underestimate Millie Senpai's Riz, okay? She's kind of crazy with it. I'm too old to be. She's kind of crazy with it, just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Will you go and find him for me? I'll do what I can. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Can She's you truly a Rizzler. His name is Randall, and. I suspect you'll find him in Lost Wing. He's been working for Quint, okay. the tavern keeper. He'll know something, I'm sure. I'll speak to him. Safe travels, my friend. Yeah, actually, speaking of which, we were just talking about magics in, in Final Fantasy that were illegal to use. Meanwhile, Millie Senpai just using the magic of Riz constantly. I, heard I mean, is it not? Like Wait. <laughs> it didn't sound happy. Riz is a wild I thing. A I only have so much of it myself. You have to exercise it. Riz is an ability that you have to exercise. You don't just have it at all no, times. No, 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 no. Unless you're Please, Sid. No. If you're Sid, you have you it at all times. Letter. Nothing too important, I hope. Oh, just a letter. I lost everything. There's a hole in my damn pack, and fool that <laughs> I am, I didn't bloody notice. It can't be that bad. How could it be any worse? I'm a courier. Come on, Glenn. I'm trying to have a conversation here. We're talking about Riz right now. Means no herbs for the infirmary. Worst of all, that letter I made. Yeah. If you retrace your would scour storm from coast to coast, if I could, but there are curse breakers in the field. No, I'll just have to own up to Otto and. All right, let's go. Fine. Are you serious? It sounds like the hideaway could use those supplies. Gotan's bales, perhaps. 
I took a tumble in the bushes when I was passing Alright, thanks for the information, Glenn. If you can find everything I... And yep. If you can find Sid's... If it's there. Wonderful. Yep. I, I know you, you have to make a delivery. To go Gotland's Bales. bales. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. I just do side quests so, so that I can get it. free EXP. I love the story. This game's story has been crazy so far. The letter won't last very long out in the elements. I should make for Sambrek as soon as I can. But yeah. Yeah, I, I assume she is out for the night because I actually don't know what time it is. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what our what our time zones are. Don't mind me. But um. Uh, I hope I hope you get some rest, Millie Senpai. Please take care. And again, I hope you had an amazing stream. Huh. Yeah, I actually don't know how long I'm planning to go today. Probably for quite a while, cause I just wanna I just wanna make make strides. I didn't get to stream yesterday because my PC's dead. This is a, I'm using a temporary PC right now. Oh four four a.m. Okay. Oh okay. Sheesh. Yeah. So. Oh my God. Four a.m. Holy shit. <laughs> you know what? Pack might have split while I shouldn't even be surprised. Details. I better keep my eyes open. Wilson's also kind of crazy. Something about EST. Good. Looks like I'm in the right area. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I was up until like 8 a.m. today. I didn't go to bed until like 8 a.m. And then I woke up at like noon. And I've been awake ever since. I doubt he could have fit much more in his pack. Still no sign of Sid's letter, though. We've come this far. I don't know, to be honest with you. To be picking grapes, aren't you? Are you here for Master Quentin? I'm looking for a letter. Honestly, sleep nearby. is just the social construct. But I suppose you've seen it. Can't say I have. So well, if you do. Wait. I did pass a dog with something in its mouth a little while back. Could have been a piece of paper. No idea if it was your letter, but you never know. Which way did it go? Towards Lost Wing. Seemed well looked after to me. Dare say someone there's been feeding it. To the village then. Ah, uh, don't be, don't be worried. I'm fine. I'm fine. At least I think so. I don't actually remember how long I slept today. I don't actually remember too much. I just knew that I really wanted to get my PC stuff in order. I was focused. I was focused today. It's looking to be a fine harvest, you see. Oh, we're back in this area. I see. Okay. I don't know. I mean, the longest I've ever stayed awake. I think I've technically done an, an all-nighter before. I've done 24 hours. Back are you? Did Master Quentin summon you? Mm, I think I've done close to 24 hours. The shad's all salted and smoked. I think the closest I ever came to it was probably for like, what is it? Uh, <laughs> actually, in Final Fantasy 14. Um. Hardcore. When you're doing hardcore raiding, you wake up right for patch, progress. which is like 4 a.m. Sorry, boy. And then you raid for 16 hours straight. Someone's waiting for this. So, something He's like that. Long enough already. Hopefully, this will keep our career out of trouble. A whole day on the line, and they're still not dry. So yeah, I mean, that's fun. That was fun. Trying, trying to hardcore raid is a wild thing. What we do for but I, I haven't played XIV in quite some stuff. time, though. It has been a minute. What do you have Never for me, match, Mr. Merchant? You're free to look. You have Keep absolutely fucking nothing. Fast. Huh. But yeah, I've only done that, like, ah, once? Twice? If it isn't Sid's young protege. I'm looking for a bearer called Randall. I hear he's been coming to you for work. He was expected back at the hideaway some time ago. 
A friend of his asked me to check on him. But Randall. ultimate rating was fun, so, you know? The porter. I wouldn't recommend pulling yes. all-nighters, though. Yes, I know him. And I can't say I'm surprised if he has been... It's a, um... Thinking about it, he should God, probably... Quinn, go you're for him. kind of an asshole. Where was he headed? He was to meet an associate of mine to the south of here. On lo I do uh -huh. hope nothing's happened to him. Yeah, no, that, that's one of the most wild things. Like, I just remember doing that for the first yeah, time and absolutely losing my mind. You like oh, that, you're a good you? boy, Clive. Good boy, good boy. Mm, and, uh, it's crazy. Like, when you think about it being, like, for a video game. But it's also so exciting. It's like a new, fresh feeling. You're waking up at, like, 4 a.m. to get ready for the patch. You have, you have, like, a crafter friend that's set up with all the mats to immediately craft you the new gear so that you can go in as ready as possible. You're pentamelded, everything's good. And then you just book it as fast as you can, get into the fights. You know, you spend the week prior to the, to the Savage Raids releasing, uh, practicing the normal versions to see how the mechanics are going to transfer over to the Savage version of the fight. It's pretty exciting. You meal prep so that, like, during your scheduled breaks, you can actually eat something. Otherwise, you're probably just going to be having a granola bar <laughs> or something really easy like a snack, which isn't good. It's always good to meal prep if you're planning on doing something for a long period of time. It's a, it's a fun experience, honestly. It's not for everyone, though. And you gotta make sure you're doing it with people that you actually like. Or make sure that you're doing it um, uh, with people that are good, that you know have the same mindset as you. But I mean, that's honestly for any group activity. If you're not doing it with people that have the same mindset as you or people that you like, you're probably not gonna have a good time. But I mean, I guess that's how most people feel with group projects. Oh, did I say Clive? I meant Torgal. Thank you. The hanged man. Thank the gods. You're one of us. We were attacked. Beast men on the road. Randall knew he didn't play the hero, but <coughs> Reckless Sod insisted on drawing him off. Where did this happen? Further down the road. In the clearing, please. Oh, damn. You have to see that he's safe. Okay. I'll do what I can. You go back to Lost Wing and tell Quentin what happened. Huh. I mean, yeah, you take breaks during the raid, um, but I don't know. It's a really interesting experience. I feel like I don't have a preference for whether I like group or solo games better. Something that I really like about games a lot is theory crafting. Why am I not surprised? That's one of the reasons why I like Souls games so much. Because they leave it very, um, uh, very open-ended, intentionally. I like open-ended stuff, because I like having to think, you know? Okay. Carry that guy again, Max. It's theory crafting is my favorite part about story-based games, but I also do like uh, group games because I like playing with people. I like talking to people. I like the social aspect of video games. Like, honestly, my favorite part about 14, as good as the story and as good as the game work was, my favorite thing was honestly the social aspect of the game. Like, even before I was a social person and, you know, wasn't in a free company, I still liked the game. There's something about being in a, uh, a world that feels a lot, if that makes sense. And I think that's what a lot of people do. There's something about being in a world that feels like there's people in it, like people inhabit that world. I feel like that's what a lot of people play 14 for. Because the story's so good, it, it can be a single player game, honestly. It can feel like a single player experience, but still be an MMO.
But I think I, I think the only reason I stopped is because I played it too much. <laughs> 14 took over my life, dude. It was the only game I was playing. And when you play a game like 14, you feel like you can't play anything else. I feel like that's MMOs in general, though. That's why I've kind of strayed away from them in games like them for the for the most part. Like, I do love Genshin, but Genshin can feel that way too. It feels like you have to play it every single day. Like, it, it demands your time, it feels like, you know? And that's what 14 was like for me. It felt like it was demanding my time. So I felt that I should just probably take a break, honestly. It feels it feels very demanding. Sorry, um, Randall. Of your attention. Looks like I was too late. He doesn't deserve to rot by the roadside. All games do that to some degree. But I think that's also why it's made me appreciate like these self-contained story games like Final Fantasy 16, Final Fantasy 15, and you know, there's plenty of others that have come out. But I feel like a lot of games are going in that direction nowadays where they it seems like they want you to play them forever. And I don't particularly understand why. Like, I get it, wanting to, you know, make a lot of money off of your product. Uh, some games it works. Like, I really like Genshin. I can't keep up all the time, but I think it's great. And I think most of these games that try to stay alive forever can be pretty good. Some of them mess up, though. They take it too far. Sometimes, sometimes a self-contained story a nice single player experience that'll last you a couple of hours. Sometimes that's all you need. But I get it. Money is important. So. Ah, there you are. My man told me what happened. And? Yeah. I can't help but notice you're alone. I think it's why I've been liking the horror games so much too. Damn it. I think it's like far from the just experiencing gate. a story, you know? I trust you'll do right by him. Of course. I knew he was brave. Though I didn't know he was wrecked. Had you known him long? A while. I liked the fact that he didn't shy away from dangerous work. <laughs> wow. And he Because it helped keep the hideaway afloat. I'll tell Sid what happened here. And Damn. I suppose Sorry, Randall. you're none too happy either. Huh. Doing something with, with the people you find solace in is such a good feeling. It's really nice being here just vibing. Aw. I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. And thank you for the super. It really is. I think that's why 14 is so great. Honestly, I like the social aspect more than anything else. Like, as like even after the game got, like, even, even after I got tired of 14, my friends kept me. Like, I didn't really want to raid anymore. I was like, I don't really have to play this anymore. But... Then, the, but then what kept me was my friends. Those were the one. Those were the people that kept me in the game. Good God, I can't wait to finish these side quests. I want to get back to the main story, like ASAP. I barking at his lot earlier. I'm skipping. Maybe I should just. Here you go, buddy. There you are. I just got back to the hideaway and thankfully Otto found the things you dropped. I... Only a little worse. Here you go. <sighs> no more skulking about in the shadows for me then. And all thanks to you. Losing those supplies is one thing, but if Sid had found out about that letter. Is it about curse breaker business? <sighs> if only. She's off studying in Canver, and her letters are all that keep Sid sane while she's away. He never oh, really? A daughter. Well, he has a daughter? Man. And thanks to you, he won't be wasting his time smiting careless couriers with leaven bolts. So I'd say you did us both a service. Here, for your troubles. Sid has a daughter? If there's anything you're wanting from Sid, today's the day. He'll be sweet as honey once he gets his hands on this. What? He has a daughter. So he's not just daddy. He actually is daddy. Wow. I... Honestly, I shouldn't be surprised. 
I shouldn't be shocked. My man gets around. Wow. Wait, was it? <laughs> Maybe it was mentioned earlier. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> That's crazy. He's an actual Dilf. I'm trying to... There we go. Come here, bitch! Hit me! What? Okay, hmm. I'm trying to learn how to parry. Hmm, what is it? Do I have to like time my sword swipe? Oh. So is it just like parrying in like any other game? You have to actually time the end of your sword swing and not like right as it comes out? Okay. Damn it, too early. That's... That's hard as hell. That's so difficult. Holy fuck. How do you do that consistently? Wow. I... Okay. I don't know if I'll be able to do this. Oh, this is... Yeah, no. Pairing is not easy in this game. It's either too early or it's too late. Shit. Charge swords extends the window? Really? Oh! Wow! Holy heck! I think that might have been the greatest. Wow! Okay. Hmm. I gotta learn what the window is, though. Hmm. Dude, this is not easy. Hmm. <sighs> this is... I, I don't... I don't get it. Right when I fucking say that. <laughs> okay, I don't think this is something I can practice if I'm being honest with you. Okay, but that's interesting. So charge attacks extends the window. That's nice to know. But I guess that also makes sense. Maybe... Hmm... Oh, I see. Maybe that explains why I've been parrying so many, like, specific attacks by accident. It seems like the attacks that I always parry by accident are always the ones that have a lasting hitbox. Because I guess because there's so many hits that are coming out, those are actually, like, free parries, basically because it's very easy for my sword to connect with the attack. Hmm, okay. I'm learning, I'm so learning. God's forsaken corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time. Or if okay. Like, the holy capital. And what business would you lot having on second? Uh, I don't think you have anything for me. You don't. Speaking of Oriflam, I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing. And it ain't Tyre's Borbile Tea. Oh, just go and see Otto, will you? Alright. But, I've noticed, I mean, not even I've noticed, it's pretty obvious. Uh, the, what you get for parrying in this game is a lot Otto better than I think in a lot of games. You literally get a free window where time is slowed down. It's better than dodging. Take a seat, Clive. Because not only not only do you get a free attack, 
but it stops the enemy in their tracks. So they're not attacking, and you are, literally. So you're really going through with it? Sis been talking about bringing down a mother crystal since I've known him. But that's all it's ever been. Talk. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the eye in the royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again. This time, do you serve? Where are we going? War. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. Well, that's gods for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. Breed. On the front lines and at home. With a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble is making it to I'm really sorry is the problem the checkpoint that's right anyone traveling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach lucky for you I might just know of a way okay this well no not that that gets you an audience with the dame the dame and it's the dame who'll see you safely through Northreach I'll send the Stolas in the morning. Let her know you're coming. We go way back. And she's a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. That's what? good of you, but... Who is this dame, and where will I find her? <laughs> who says that? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's <laughs> foremost house of ill repute. The Vale. And she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. Oh? A woman. Right. <laughs> Don't go blind, you know, with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report. Oh, when snap. You get back. Okay. So the dame is fine. Is what I'm understanding. Okay. But yeah, no, I'm sorry. Whenever I see... Two words. Breed and also uh, penetrate. Both of those words, I... I turn I into... That's everything. I turn into a little kid when I see them. I have to say them again. I have to repeat them. It's just, it, it's like, like, I feel like you have to go out of your way to say those words, you know? Well, so will it be? Shit, what is this? No scratches, all right? Like, you really have to go out of your way to say that word, you know what I'm saying? And... Clive, was it? It just makes me laugh. I'm sorry, there's not really much I can do about it. I just, I just, I don't know. Like, the fact that there's a boss oh, called the Penetrator in Demon lad, Souls really just you? made me feel some type of way. Goat at your service. Well, at the hideaway service, anyway. Otto's put me in charge of reading through the reports sent in by our allies and picking out any problems that might warrant the attention of the curse breakers. <laughs> or any other willing volunteers. And there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. <laughs> or, or maybe I don't have to. Just laugh. I'll warrant a strapping lad like you who's got people begging him for help wherever you go. Yeah, they're begging me for anyway, more than just help. if you're ever interested <laughs> in taking a look over the list, just say the word. Reckon you could probably tick off the odd thing here and there. They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. <laughs> but if that ain't enough, these have got proper bounties on them and all. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> Alien reports. What, what even are these? Are they quests? Wait, travel? Fuck. More side quests? Oh, your SIDS, man. Couldn't trouble you for some <laughs> assistance, Carl. Uh, it depends. Some new bearers from Oriflam just arrived. Alright, guys, I want to go to the story. I'm going to speed read these. If you can't speed read with me, I'm sorry. They're probably ter terrified of you. Dare see I take a bear? Yep. So you have a word with them? Settle them in? Yep, I can try. I can, I can try. That'll do me. Safety. Let them know. No. Appreciate it. Overdue. <laughs> it's 
So you're the new arrivals. Get you. You're safe here. Mines. Truly. Starving. Tavern. You. Here. Huh. That'll be enough for today. But how did the grocer know his dog? Wait. Do these quests actually give me EXP? I just thought about it. I've never actually checked. What do these give me? Have I? I know they give me money sometimes. I'll have two plates of. Sorry, we have enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. What the fuck? It's not for me. Oh, my apologies. I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade. Well, in that it's case, on my cheek. How did you not see it? Take all the bread and wine you want. You're blind. That's really all it takes. One look at the innkeeper's mark. Of course it is. I do as Master Oh, the innkeeper's mark. Never mind. As do we all. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favored guests be left wanted. Well, don't keep our new comrades waiting. <sighs> yeah, I was thinking about a different mark. Bread and wine. Hopefully this will be enough. Bread and wine. Do people normally have bread and wine? Is that a, is that a normal combo? Is that a very typical combo to have bread and wine together? I've never heard of that before. It sounds good though. I want some bread and wine. Yeah, bread and wine from the tavern. I was talking about the mark that's on my left cheek. You see it? Well, not my scar. I'm talking about Clive's cheek, not my cheek. May we? Truly. The cheek on my face, not the cheek. Yeah, yeah, the cheeks on my face. Such plenty. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. I can't believe it. Aww. You're free now. And the next time you're hungry, you need only ask to be fed. Thank you. Yep. Okay, what do I get for this? I'm never doing this shit again. I got literally nothing. I got 15 EXP for that. Yeah, I've done my good deed for the day. I'm done. Let's move on with the story. Well, 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 someone's in a hurry. Just following orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Fine day for a little mischief, wouldn't you say? Good is this God. Actually, Gav won't be coming. Just the three of us, then. Drake said is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes. But that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. And should that plan fail, well, we have our icons to fall back on. Yeah. Sid, I... I don't know if I can. If Reed still seems to... come and go as he pleases. Yeah, what's that about? Primary an icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then you are no ordinary dominance. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. Yeah. And did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? 
You know, I reckon he could probably cause a path out of the capital on his own if need be. Let's try not to find out. See, that's very that's interesting. We spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northridge in a few days. You two behave now. Now, what's interesting is he, we still have the blessing of the Phoenix, but we also took some of Garuda's power. That also changes the conversation. Because my original theory was that um, the reason why we were able to go into the the reason why we were able to go into the the Phoenix Gate and why it looked different and why at the end we talked to our past selves is because you know we're the first if if free dominant so our ancestors are literally ourselves it's literally us that's the that's the only other person that's been ifrit's dominant and the reason it's no longer the phoenix gate but ifrit's gate is because ifrit killed the phoenix but hmm. the fact that he absorbed garuda garuda's essence changes the conversation so that begs that begs the question what is clive clive is something else clive is something different maybe he's just a natural usurper maybe he is a usurper maybe maybe ifrit isn't just trying to take over the role of the dominant of fire maybe he's just an enemy of icons in general hmm. so we're meeting in northridge and will i find sid and jill so many questions can i go here Yeah, yeah, we're quirky. We're not like the other dominants. We're a bit, we're a bit quirky, you know. So like, hmm, what? Why are we different though? Like, what are we? We're related to the Phoenix. Is this a situation because it's like, like, uh, like a few of you have brought up that it might be due to them being related, you know, due to Clive being related to Joshua. Maybe that's why there's like this whole like iconic split. That's enough. But I was wondering like why would that be the case? Why why would why would icons, you know, give a damn about familial blood? But it also makes sense. If the ether of one dominant is in one location, why would the other dominant that's trying to usurp that one not try to find find someone close to it, you know? So I don't know, dude. What the hell is Clive? What the hell is Clive? Who's Ifrit? Who's the hooded kid? Is that really Joshua? What? There's so many questions <sighs> that need to be answered. Northrit, I need more information. Speak of a brothel, but that was north of the checkpoint. I had the dame as friends in the south. Let's see. could afford even that much of my time branded oh my mistake no mine upon reflection you don't have the scent of a branded about you what the flowers otto always did know how to please me more than sid ever did anyway oh do you think you could please me clive no I would like to not get demonetized, please. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? Yeah, but uh, I I'm a I'm a I'm a one me, woman yes, kind of man. Why would you? help you because that's what we do 
Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I see. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. What? See, Unless. why do you use words like that? Unless. Unless? <laughs> Unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Why are you so sexual? Yes, that will do nicely. But... I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? Ah, oh, shit. You better not let Jill find out about this, Clive. She is so sexually charged. Everything she says, it feel like is sexual. Welcome, welcome. Come back again. Where is Jill at? What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. Whoa. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But it's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Madame, mm. back to the vial already. But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll okay. see you all at sunset. Hmm. She's looking kind of sus. Hold up. <sighs> Another fucking branded. Oh, you're lucky you're with the dame. Hmm. Okay. Get out of my sight, filth. Nice. All right then. Uh, that's fine, I guess. I don't know how I feel about her, but that's cool. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The mm. gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement. As do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. Interesting. Okay. Alright. Well, guys, I'm an escort. I don't know how we got here, but... I guess it was only bound to happen. We kind of set ourselves up familiar with that- with this titty window, I'm not gonna lie to you, though. Clive, we gotta- we gotta cover up. We've given ourselves to one person. We don't need anybody else. We don't need to show off our titties anymore. Word is that the legions are ready in <sighs> And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Damn, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. You guys are wearing the same outfit. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? 
That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. Hmm. Thank okay. you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. All right, then. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have oh, to do? Bro, you didn't have to ask about I that. Don't want to keep my companions waiting. Oh, Clive. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Huh? Yes. Otto asked me to help them as well. Oh. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. Thank God. One of my girls. Okay. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. You've only begun to I fear the worst? I've spent my whole life searching for people. No, I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Bruh. Oh, and take this. Okay. Proof of that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, Bruh. I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. Wow. All right, then. Well, I, I I know why they call her the Dame. Because. Dame. I should probably start here. You get it? Because, like, damn. But, like, pronounced differently. You wear the Dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to help me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatienne. She's still missing, then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb. A gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell huh. it meant the world I'm to her. I'm sorry. You see, Tatienne was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother, as do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her <laughs> my shoulder. But perhaps someone else did. Tatian shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Mm. Let's see what her chambermate can tell us then. Yeah. And they were chambermates. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about? Yeah. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatian. Did she say anything to you before? Where? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do? Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gill he earned on Tatian. And picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Oh damn, he was a tier three sub. Like a lost puppy. Tatienne was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in. And she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get uh, away with this. Find him. Uh, and you'll find her. Uh, the man from the garrison. Seems mm, a trip to the barracks is mm, This there. is kind of concerning, dude. Oh, wait. Is tier 3 sub not, not interchangeable with the word simp? I thought that people used that. Seen you around the veil of late. That's concerning, though. Mm. 
Yes, it is, but with a more negative connotation. Oh, okay. I will refrain from using it then. <laughs> oh, the segue. <laughs> I heard the bones fell favorably. To I. Mm. What do you think? Nothing like a quick tumble on another man's coin. Someone say that the Tatian's bedchamber, a uh, chamber chambermate. <laughs> so that they said that she looked like a character from Shrek. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking uh. for a man? Does this look like a brothel branded? Fuck off! Hold your tongue. Where's the dame's brooch? One word from him, and the veil's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Yeah, yeah Yannick left a few days back. The dame, thank you. Huh, <sighs> that's crazy. Right to I that's so wild, dude. Like... <laughs> the character of Rude Strike. Honestly. I, f I feel bad for that NPC. Not only does she look like a Shrek character, but her name is literally Tatian's chambermate. Like, you know that you're unimportant when your name is literally somebody else's name and your relationship to them. Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. I feel kind of bad for her. Oh, Tatian, you could have told... This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on travelling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is. But I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers. And they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is mm. a man in Moor who owes me a favor. More than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I send you. I Am I gonna get a horse? I find something. I'm not gonna get a horse. Why did I even say that? What was the point? I just made myself excited for, like, no reason. As a matter of fact, I'm not even excited anymore. I'm just sad. I want a horse. I want Chris back. I might see you tonight. Whoa. Think I might see you tonight? Depends on how much you want to see. Oh, ho, ho. oh ho. that is a conversation that is happening. Orifla, how many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full? I want a horse. I have to run through these fields. I want a chocobo. I forgot. There's no horses. I want a chocobo. I really want a chocobo. Can I get a chocobo? Are these wild chocobo? They are wild chocobo. That's crazy. Dude. 
I wonder if we were even gonna get him. It wouldn't be the most shocking thing if we didn't. I just really want one. I want a mount. I wish there were mounts in this game. Dude, like, I feel like there should be mounts in this game. I would really appreciate that. Oh, I can't. Okay. Stop putting all these side quests in my way, dude. What the? Who the fuck do you think I am? You're late. What kept you? What are you talking about? For what? Did they tell you nothing? A wild beast is savaging my boy. Bro, your boy's well, dead. Don't just stand there gawping. Rescue him. No gold? The insolence. Someone needs to learn. Yeah, I'm good. Huh. The set? Um, have you seen my Chloe? No, I don't know what that I is. I her out of her pen while I did my chores. But she hasn't come back yet. I think she's lost. Please, can you help me look for her? No gold. <sighs> Goodbye. Had another brandy drop in the field. If the people of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says, it's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Oh. Okay. Weren't expecting any new branded until the new moon. You don't think he's a deserter, do you? Yo, know, people are so weird, dude. How are the people that can wield magic? If even a grain is missing. I don't get it. Are you Bertrand? <laughs> the dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. One of her courtesans has gone missing. And I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stop to peddle their wares on their way to the capital, but only one's been seen quarreling with a soldier. Is he still here? A trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. Ooh. If you seek him out, keep your head down. The fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the date's okay. brooch for protection. Understood. All right. Fine. I'll go find Chloe for the little girl. That's all I'm doing, though. That guy's son can die. Um, have you seen my Chloe? I left... I can't promise I'll find her, but... She has beautiful white hair. She lets me strut. She likes walking in the wheat. I know the fields are big. Oh, she must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since Who is Chloe? It is my job to feed her. In that case... What? What the hell? Who's Chloe? That's a lot of field to search. With a little luck, someone might have seen her. What's up? You work these fields. I need to ask you something. Mm, a branded and an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Oh my god. Why should I help you, eh? Your name is Fastidious Farmwife. Stop talking to me like that. You tell me that. You side character. There's a girl from the village asked me to find her pet. Chloe. Have you seen her? Chloe, is it? Oh, little Lisette's plaything. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. 
That girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's finished playing with it. This is why you'll stay fastidious farm wife for the rest of your life. You're What's not even gonna now? get a name. I won't have idle branded underfoot. Shut the fuck up. At least I can move from the spot that I'm standing. You're gonna be sweeping whatever the fuck you're sweeping. What are you even sweeping? And you have the nerve to talk to me like that? What are you even doing? You're not even a useful NPC. You're just worthless. Fucking think you can talk to me like that. Who do you think you are? Chloe. More brown than white. You're not Chloe, are you, girl? Is that? Oh, no. Someone napping on the job. Oh, shit. They don't look like they're they napping, the homie. Interruption. They don't look like they're napping, my guy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh! <gasps> no! Her hair! No! 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 You've slept long enough. It's time to go home. Chloe is a person! Why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. Holy shit! My favorite. None of the other Chloe's had pretty hair. Oh my it god! Be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Is that what she was to you? A plaything? Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? I. The crystal's curse, that's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. I... No, don't, don't say that. Holy shit. And without that brand, she would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter. Just like you. But Dad said... Bearers don't have parents. Oh my god. Parents that give them away. Families they'll never see again. I... But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. I... <laughs> wow. Holy shit. My God. I'm... At least she's a kid. She can still be changed. Same can't be said for that bitch fastidious farm wife. She's gonna be an NPC for the rest of her life and never know. Shame. Holy shit. I... My goodness, dude. It's my turn. Let me try. Wow. Just just wow. I'm I'm genuinely scared for what's for what's going to happen. Oh my god. You branded. Shut the Here, fuck no. up. Don't fucking talk to me like that. Right. Think you are. I, I see they've sent me a branded with a spark. He's over that way towards the coast. Go and see that you kill the beast. What's so he said that his son was being attacked by beasts. For someone whose son's in mortal danger, he didn't seem all that worried. Is his son a branded? He's not right here. Oh no, is his I is his son? Careful. Oh fuck. Don't tell me. But Don't wolf, tell me his going to eat me. Not if I can help it. Does he not care? Because his sons. Stay back. I'll deal with this. Oh no. I already know. I already know, and I'm gonna be disappointed. His son. His son's gonna be. His son's gonna be a bear, isn't he? His son's gonna be a bear. That's that's why he doesn't care. That's why he doesn't care. Oh god. That or he did it on purpose. Hoping that me and his son would die? No! You weren't supposed to kill Wolfie. You were supposed to die. 
Father will have you whipped for this. Bearers aren't supposed to win. They never win. What is this? Your father said you were being attacked. You're not supposed to talk. Stop looking at me like that. We were only having fun. Having fun? Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this. Holy shit. What the fuck is this world? They sh The wolf's work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. I... Someone needs to put an end to this before it happens again. Uh, wow. Holy heck. I... Oh my god. I... Wow. Holy heck, dude. It's insane how deeply ingrained the hatred of bears is into these people, you, to the point Brandy, where they're kids. Come here this instant. How dare you frighten my son? You slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return, head held high. That wolf was trained. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. You are the entertainment, nothing more. And we are most certainly not entertained. Holy fuck, dude. Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See? I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. You're not the branded I bought, are you? You're... How dare you deceive me? Bitch, what the fuck? Well, Do you see the way I'm dressed? The sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go! Summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. Oh. That unlucky wretch would be the dame. I can summon her if you like. Though I doubt she would welcome the interruption. You, uh, you, um, serve the dame. Why would a woman of her caliber... You look afraid. Well, how do you think those bearers in the field felt? What? Can Why would he... Their fear? <sighs> their pain. I've... From the look of you, I'd say you're starting to get an idea of the first. Now, if you need help with the second... Father, he's scaring me. You think to threaten us, Branded? The dame's pet or no, I, I will not abide such insolence. Can't we just buy another hound? A bigger one, a better one. Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. With jaws powerful enough to nip this branded's head clean off his shoulders. Holy heck, dude. I... I'm wasting my time. But I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. Oh. They deserve a proper burial. Wow. That much I can do, at least. Wow. You would have just turned into Ifrit and burned down the whole village? The Honestly, same. Sport. Wow. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. We're all victims of the nobles' games. You must be Clive. How do you know my name? The dame. I'm in her service. Like yourself. Bro, but this is medieval times. What did she send you a text? How did you find out so fucking Never quickly? Any easier. Burying the dead. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Since you're here. Can you give me a hand? Gladly. Let's put them to rest. I'm so lost, dude. There's no way. I'm not mad that he knows me, but like, I'm just like, how? How did you find out? I'm like, this is crazy. May their burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? 
I did. Now I expect they'll find another soon enough. Hmm. And when it gets here, more bearers will die. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Wow. Simple. Because you are not them. Bearers are tools when they're needed, and toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well, you can always buy another. That's so Still, insane. Such attitudes don't always go unpunished. No way. Wait. <laughs> no way. Is this your doing? Of course not. Wolves kill. It's in their nature. Invite one into your home. No. <laughs> tear your throat out eventually. Same with bearers. Fed or not, they don't lack for fangs. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? Ooh. The realm's less two murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Here. For their help. Wow. You don't Truly to. karma. Take it. You never know. Our past may cross again. Till then. Alright then. I liked it. God. Like, I got absolutely nothing for these quests. But honestly, I'm not mad. They were very enlightening. I liked doing them for the, for the story, for lore. I appreciated the lore. God, that's insane, though. Like... God! She literally said, like, like it was a pet. It's my turn to feed her. Like, you know? She, when, she, when referring to Chloe. But Chloe is a whole-ass person. Oi, don't touch anything. That's how you know that those poor kids were trained by their parents to think like that. That is absolutely insane, dude. Like, no kid would see another person, like, would see a bear and think, Oh! You know? And hate them immediately. They would automatically assume that they're a person. Good riddance. Weren't expecting any new branded until the new moon. You don't think he's a... What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for a constable? I come to you from Northreach. At the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Yeah, fake ass bitch. Oh, oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Yeah, give me the info. He, he had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. And nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. Vehement? I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound, but as it happened... My thing. Not at all. I would do uh, be anything sure for the dame, her, won't you? That I was helpful. Hun. Most helpful. No, I'll tell her you're. I'll tell her you're an asshole, just like you are, Dick. Hmm. It smells of death here, Togo. Oh, jeez. Wolves. We can't let them get any closer to the village. Oh. Woo! <laughs> this move has gotten a ton more useful. Now that I'm actually using it properly. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, I didn't know that stayed up. kept that way. Nice. Okay. Where are we gonna find our mans? Oh. Damn it all. Bodies. More bodies? No. Oh, <gasps> Tatian! have been busy. But the blood is long dry. No. He fucking. Oh. Oh, Tatian. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. He said her name was Tatian. You. Did you follow me? Now, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick, by the looks of things. I have. Wow. We both found who we were searching for. Yeah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Bro, she then was one a. Day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. Wow. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. If only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on That's so sad, dude. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one in the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Wow, dude. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Wow. Oh, there won't be any wow. in this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which, I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. Wow, dude. Holy shit. That's insane. Girl lost That's her life terrible. because a guy wanted to be a simp. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatian by. No fucking words, dude. That is crazy. We just can't catch a break in this area so far. Not much chance I'd make it through the penitent's gate without someone recognizing me as a deserter. Just... Just wow. Can I teleport here? No, I have to run back. Of course I do. Plan. She was selling her services, and one guy decided to get possessive. That's so crazy to me. You probably shouldn't be purchasing services if you if you find that you'll get attached to the person whose services you're buying them from. If it was a mess, you are still in one piece. I see. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Thank you, but you needn't have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You, you found her then? <laughs> hmm. <sighs> oh. The dame. I see. My dear Tatien. Not gonna lie, that's a pretty name, Tatien. It is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who is young and far <sighs> from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. Uh. I found this with Tatien. I believe it was yours. Wow. Tatian didn't deserve that, dude. Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. 
That's so incredibly sad, dude. Am I leveling up, poggers? Nice! 23. I should go. Before you do, I have oh. one last gift. A token of my thanks. The veil counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Oh. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. Oh? But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Hmm. Take care, Clive. I will. And thank you again. Okay. Okay. Huh. Good boy, Torgo. Good boy. <laughs> the twists in these quests are so wild. I love the world building, though. Honestly, same. This is... It's kind of crazy thinking about it, honestly. It's really terrifying. Expecting any but, I mean, this is super real. And I do appreciate what it's doing for the for the game's world. Like, we're, we're just seeing how... Just how deep the prejudice... Um, and the, situ the the prejudice towards the bears and how deep, how deep the system goes, how, how people view them. Like, even children just are trained and naturally brought up to treat them as not human. Okay. What do we have here? Any trouble on the way? There they are. None worth mentioning. As I was telling Jill, it's worse than I thought. The capital's crawling with soldiers. And here I am, the deserter come home. Which is why we'll be taking the back door. What? Are we gonna go through that mountain? Is this where I think it is? Oh no, okay. I thought this was something else. The pleasure houses. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay. <laughs> they just have a room in there. Whew. It's just another brother hotel, exactly. I think it was a safer place in the Empire than ever. Mm. Brothel. Mm. Really? Doesn't seem very private. Wow, what a boss. So then, how do we proceed? Okay, we're good. We'll be using the glass gate. <laughs> yeah, just so. <laughs> that was scary. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the most, which is a start. God, they are so beautiful. Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut. And how exactly did you come to know about this? fatal chink in the Empire's armor. Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. And may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by Bahamut, <laughs> but that's not important. 
Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the Blight... If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is, if the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. Interesting. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw, clapped in irons, and slung in a cell to rot. So, what's this back door, though? An outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools, and the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent. Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic? Yeah. Our fate means nothing to them. No. This isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried. But nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. Okay, I like the sound of that. Blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this. Can you? Of course not. I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the outlaw. Ah, that'll do me. You might at least pretend hmm. to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. Huh. But first, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. So your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. Interesting. So, you know, it's kind of interesting. Um... Doing those side quests actually brings a lot of credence to what, uh, to what Sid is saying. This might be one of those situations where the ends do justify the means. I don't know though. I feel like a lot of people don't compromise on that. The ends never justify the means. But like, with what we've seen, with literal children saying like, It's my turn to feed Chloe. You know, like, calling them things. Literally setting a setting a little trap, you know, to kill them for entertainment. Treating them as, like, not even people, just, like, things to be used. It's insane. Thank you for the stream, Vanta. It was fun. Oh, thank you. And thank you for the super. I'm glad you had fun. Thank you so much. I don't know if I'm going to do all of them, because they take up so much time, dude. I just want to get to the story. I want to find out stuff. Ow! I don't know. It's like I like doing them, but like they don't they don't give anything. Like most of them give nothing. That's that's honestly the biggest problem I have with them. They don't give you anything for doing them. They're almost not worth the time. They are quite literally just for world building. I hit my uh, I hit my 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 humorous. That's the day done then. I should be okay though. I'm still pretty funny. <laughs> I unironically hit my humorous though. I hit my elbow. But thank goodness I found you. Can I trust you to be discreet? About what? About this. About what I wish to ask of you. About the fact that I, a humble creep, as unlikely as it may seem, there are those with it. All right. But what huh. do you want from me? This town is carried upon the backs of its bearers. And yet many would see their servants starve. Not for the want of coin. Simple fare costs little more than a pittance. Okay. But to contemptible though it is, my countrymen would sooner cut off their noses to spite their faces and despite my best wow. attempts at secrecy. 
Which brings me to my request. Oh, money! Fine. What do you need me to do? Oh, thank you. An extra meal here. Deliver these. But... Money, 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 money. What food I can provide goes where the need is greatest. And today that happens to be the barracks. Three bearers, overworked and underfed. Not permitted a moment's rest. It's no wonder so many die before their time. Tragic, true, but do not let anger make you careless. People will view this act of mercy as an undermining of the Empire's authority. Be discreet for both our sakes. And for the sake of those we feed. Oh, and when you're finished, a word in the ear of one of the dame's girls would be... You won't be staying, then. I'm afraid not. Okay. I'm... Alright, then. This guy seems pretty chill. He genuinely just... This is bad enough. We can't let people starve as well. This guy is, like, aware. My god. How many quests the are there, dude? Got it in for us too. Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Hey, you lost or something? Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The infantry always needs more bodies, though. I'm just passing through. I don't bloody believe it. The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. That'll be why he's strutting about like he owns the place. The dame laughed when we offered her our protection. You reckon this prick's really oh worth a cap of the Empress for Do I just have to fight them for this quest? <laughs> I dare say there's ways of finding out. How about it, Branded? Care to show us how you earned that brooch? I'd rather not. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> Only chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the Oh Dane's my being. god. Fine. Oh, that's free money. That's so free. <sighs> Fine. If it'll put your mind at ease. Oh. And just so you know, take a moment to get ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining a bit. Oh, gimme. That's just free money right there. I'll take it. Come here. No. Let's go. If that's what you want. <laughs> Cocky bastard. Or I can practice my parrying on you. Oh, and when you go crying to your mistress, tell her it was Leon who gave you the pounding. Use all the dirty tricks you want, Branded. Oh my god. <laughs> You know one end of a <laughs> you will not take me. Enough. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> Fuck me. What the hell are you playing at, Leon? So it's a real challenge he wants, is it? <sighs> Fine. Sword up, bearer. Let's have some fun, shall we? Oh. How a bearer win the dame's favor anyway? By knowing when to hold my tongue for a start. Hmm. That's enough. Okay. <laughs> this is just sad, dude. Mm, if okay, I'm gonna try to get two parries off in a row. Three, three off in a row. Oh shit! I don't know what that was. Come on, bitch. Okay. Okay, I don't think three periods off in a row is actually going to happen. <laughs> 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 
bitch, I've got potential. Dude, these guys are delusional. <laughs> Can I go now? Gregor's gas. The bastard didn't even break a sweat. The dame's man or no, he's still a brandy. <sighs> Not after the bullock he gave us for missing drills. Might be. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, good bloody riddance. Do us a favor. If you have to tell the dame about this. Tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? Come on. I'll take that 1k. I'll take that, baby. That's mine. That is all mine. Are you waiting for it to heal on its own? Hurry up! Looks like now's not the time. Oh? What do you mean, now is not the time? The heck? You look like you need a rest. Is he using wind magic to, to dry their clothes? That's why these bears die so frequently and quickly to the curse. Oh my god. That's so sad and awful. Half as much as I need this. Thank you. I don't eat it here, though. Not where anyone might see. Has it always been this bad? Oh, it was worse before the Chamberlain. I'd be dead without him. Me and many others. Wow. That's something at least. Huh. <sighs> okay. I'm just gonna deliver the last comestible and then I'm gonna go, dude. Honestly, I haven't really had to spend any money. I'm not really strapped for Gil. And I'm always fighting monsters, so there's really no reason to. I have something for you. Holy heck, dude. From the Chamberlain. Wow. You need to leave. Why? Branded. Who told you to arrest? Oh. And you, if you've got a message for me, out with it. If not, return to your post. Oh. It's not been half a moon since the Oh, gosh. from me my guy got too hurt for his own good so work faster next time if you know what's good for you yeah it looks like you need it hmm the Chamberlain must have sent you but alas, my work is far from over. If I don't go now, they'll beat me. You need to rest. But I won't. I've wounds to heal and bones to mend. And what of your own hurts? Don't wait. That's all my hunger. Thank you, though. So, you know what I find super interesting? about healing in games. I don't know if you guys ever thought about this, but like healing in RPGs and other games, I really like it when there's a reasoning behind it or like there's some kind of a mechanic. I don't know. Something about like, you know, there, there has to be a, a give and take, if you will. I don't know, but like, fuck, dude. How does healing work in this game? Like what, how exactly does, how exactly does it function? What it, what is what is being given? All right. Are you here for business or pleasure? Business, though not my own. The Chamberlain put me to work delivering food. Ah, so he found some just as well. I hear his friends back at court have been taken a little too. So he really is a Chamberlain. 
There was a time when he was the Vow's most illustrious customer. Us girls thought of him as a generous uncle. He was one of the only people around here who seemed bothered by the way the Empire treats its bearers. Rare for one in his position. A fact not wasted mm. on the dame. A little nudge from her is all it took, and he became the patron saint of Northreach's starving masses. My sisters and I may have lost an uncle, but bearers are being fed for a change, so we don't grumble. Glad to hear it. Gives you faith, though, doesn't it? So I wonder all right, time to get back to the story. I... Let's GTFO, dude. I'm ready to go. It's story time. I'll take my 1K and get out. Like, return of healer? I don't know. I don't know the the ones I the ones I think of are like I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the Infinity Blade series. The veil of late. Um, Infinity Blade had a really interesting healing mechanic. Basically, what I mean is is like actually properly explaining what's actually happening, you know? Um, because like, what is it? There's one show I think where healing magic works, and the only way it can work is if the caster has knowledge of how the human body works. So, like, if a bone is broken, you have to be able to understand, you know, how it should be put together in the first place in order to properly repair it, repair it. So, like, basically, the average Joe can't do more advanced healing magic. And then I think of something like Infinity Blade. In, in, in Infinity Blade, the characters, uh, like, the, the main cast are known as Deathless. So, they're immortal beings. And, uh, but their bodies aren't immortal, technically. Uh, or, no, their bodies are immortal. Uh, but they still like age in a way. It's really, it's really weird to explain. But basically, like in uh, in Infinity Blade, what was interesting about the healing in that in that series is that when when they would heal themselves, because they were immortal, it wouldn't actually heal the wound. It wasn't actually using magic. All all it would do is it would fast forward time to when the wound was healed. So it was instantaneous healing, but like. It would, it would, all it was doing was fast, fasting forward, like, the time that it would take. So, however much time, like, say, say it was a really grievous wound and it would take, like, a month to heal, it would fast forward their body a month. So, like, uh, one scene in the novel where the main character is, like, saying he healed himself, he healed himself and then instantly he grew, like, a beard and his fingernails, like, extended. Like, they grew, like, really, really long. Instantly, and he grew a beard, he grew hair, he, like, his whole body, like, basically aged. But, they're immortal. But they're immortal, so, like, they, they don't die. And, even if their physical body was to die somehow, all they need, all they would need is an apparatus for their soul to find, uh, another body. So, like, that's, that's how the Deathless works. So, it wasn't like their physical bodies were immortal, their soul was. So, the, so it really didn't matter if the body aged quicker than normal, you know? They could still live hundreds of years um, in one body. But if they were to ever die, or like if their body were to ever become unusable. Oh shit, I can't return. Fuck. Maybe I should do some more side quests. But yeah, I thought that was super interesting. I thought that was a super interesting healing concept. I just like when healing has like a reason behind it. And you know, it's not just heal, and then that's it. I... I cannot help but notice you. Might I trouble you for some assistance? And who exactly? Oh, forgive me. I have business beyond. <sighs> and who would you be willing? Uh, I'm fucking good, dude. We're just gonna go. Um, mm, they didn't have to kill anybody for a new body. What they would have, what, what they did is usually they would have like an apparatus prepared with like clones. They would have clones ready for their new body to, for their, for their soul to enter in, if, in the event that they were ever to die. Yeah, we're just gonna go. Fuck it, dude. Story time. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go right now. Feeling like John Legend. There are not nearly enough men here. Then it's fortunate the city guard doesn't take sentry assignment as seriously as you do. This bodes well. Hmm. I'll be a first. This may not be such a terrible plan after all. 
And what exactly is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Only that your last secret shortcut was nowhere near as secret as you claimed. Oh, but that's half the fun of it. Life's too short for perfect plans. True. You want a plan that'll keep you on your toes, stop you growing old and complacent. Worked for you, has it? Clive, my boy. Even life's smallest challenges offer the opportunity to grow and to change. You must embrace these moments. Allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of fulfillment. <sighs> Narrowly escaping death at the hands of an enemy is not my idea of fulfillment. Hmm. Something wrong? Not at all. Just wondering if the two of you had finished. Right. We make for the Mother Crystal's heart as planned. Huh. Destroy it and the whole thing should come tumbling down. And if the passage to the Inner Sanctum is guarded? Then we embrace the moment and use it to grow and change. <laughs> Sid is hilarious, dude. The Crystal's Curse. Come on, this way. Try to stay out of sight. <sighs> Obviously. Huh, please. I'm so good at staying out of sight, dude. Well, the passage is empty. I'm a secret agent. No, 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 we don't have to fight him. We can sneak. Oh, never mind. Perfect plans, Clyde. Perfect plans. I was really hoping to do that. But I guess not. That's enough. I guess not. This guy, dude, thinking he's special. I have a special song that I sing whenever I'm being sneaky. It makes being sneaky a lot more fun. But it looks like I don't get to sing it in this game. Unfortunate. You cannot be sneaky in Final Fantasy 16. I was really looking forward to it. What the... What? Oh, I'm not playing on Xbox. I was like, why can't I? I'm, I'm pressing X. You never stood a chance. You're welcome. It's um, uh, it's it's this it's a song from the backyard again. So. That would be my guess. There are sentries everywhere. Say, am I crazy? What's it called? You know, um, it's the Secret Agent song with by Pablo. They call must come to me a secret. We might have a bit more agent secret. And I like I'm not gonna sing any more of this song though, because I don't want to get in trouble. Stay <laughs> down. Oh, he got frozen. Oh, is that who I think it is? Oh, never mind. It's an average this joke. Maybe the moments I was talking about earlier. What have we here? More insects come to be squashed. You will find my mortar and I only too happy to oblige. To the talker. Then let's shut him up. I thought it was Hugo, to be honest with you. Oh damn. 
Oh, damn. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What the fuck? All right. Fuck you, dude. Fucking parry, bitch. You feel up. Some CGI. Lisa. It's Ether. Yeah, we better make this quick. Oh snap, you can see it in the air. What even is that, dude? What is, what is that weapon? What is this? He's carrying around a fucking sex toy. Like, what are you doing? Why are you using that as a weapon? What does that mean? Cool patch. Oh! Oh my god. Shit. Complete bro. <laughs> this guy is so annoying. How? You know what? Fuck, dude. <laughs> His moves are so weird. Fuck! This guy is not easy, dude. Wait, does this not look like one, though? I swear it looks like one. Am I crazy? hit by that. This time. I don't know. It's it's giving me like strong You know, never mind, I'm not gonna continue to saw it. You know, keep that to myself. It doesn't look like a cannon to me though. It doesn't look like a cannon to me. It isn't like, like, where, where's the stuff? Where's all the stuff? Nice. Nope. Nope. No, I've had enough. Nope. Nope. Mortar and pastel? It doesn't look like that to me.
used to that. The Kashiko, no, he was still a man. Bro, nah, he wasn't a man. A man who drowned in ether. It's no way for anyone to go. Come on. Nope, that's a cannon. That's a cannon. God, that is a, a cannon. Death sentence in this place. Best it <sighs> it's a cannon. Nope, it's a cannon. And that's cannon. And that is final. Oh, breathe deep of the blessing, my friends. Except being a dominant doesn't have its benefits. Sid, this is an ether flood. There shouldn't be one here, should there? The workers couldn't survive this. Well, it wasn't here last time, I can tell you that. Which means we need to be quick. The ether won't hurt us, but I'd rather not find out what it's done to everyone else. Oh. Wait, why won't the ether hurt us? Is it because we just channel ether all the time throughout our bodies? Steel silk. Oh, the mines. Oh. The gods. They've all gone Akashic. The ether is like monsters, I think. All we can do now is put them out of their misery. <laughs> that move is just so satisfying. If ever there was a reason to up sticks, an ether flood would be it. Fuck me, those cards are the game. Ignition is the best thing that ever happened to me. I love it. to keep the Akashic in. Apparently, if I if I if I heard it correctly, Akashic is when like uh, someone's become so overloaded with with ether that like there's nothing left but anger and like like basically all they want to do is fight. They no longer can discern between friend or foe. They're not human. Basically, they they've lost their humanity once they go Akashic. It's over for them. Oh no. Doesn't look that far. Right. Oh god, Sid. Oh, Sid. Oh. Some help. Hold on. Holy shit. Really? So it was just those that were weak? Oh my god, dude. I was gonna be so mad if Sid had went out like that. Quite as spry as I used to be. Jeez. I'll take that as a thank you. Look on the bright side. At least you won't get lost. Ooh. Forget about him, Clive. He doesn't want us, remember? Alright, who's next? Oh. Some opponents will use the ability Warcry to invigorate themselves, enhancing their performance in battle. Look for the Langer Khan to try and defeat them before they can deal too much damage. I'll do my best. I don't pay attention to those types of enemies, though. Ooh. Oh my god. That movie is so nice, dude. The big AoE skill. Perfect for someone lazy like me. AoE is always nice. Oh, did you guys break? 
chat broke once again. Chat's been kind of crazy lately. Oh, chest. Mm, I mean, I don't know. Ow. Technically, it was Jill that started it. But we were going to be fine regardless. Although, I won't lie to you. I'm really, really scared. Because this is that, that was the third time they gave us a, a fright with Sid. That was the third time. So, like, I can't help but feel like they're going to kill him off. I can't help but feel like he's going to go. Like, like they, they've given us three, like, fake out, like, scary moments with Sid so far. Three. That's a lot, you know? I feel like that's, that's not something to, like, not pay attention to. Maybe that's just me. I feel like that's significant. That would be so funny, dude. I don't know, I feel like that's serious. But, I also don't know too much about fake-out deaths. From what I understand, you're not supposed to use fake-out deaths more than, like, once in your story. I have to point it out, okay? I can't help but point it out. I don't mean to jinx my boy, but like... I can't help but feel that way. That's enough. Like, you don't give somebody that many fake-out deaths. It's just too much, you know? Like, you don't do that unless something's gonna happen. That, or it's going to be a repeat thing, and like, literally, they're just going to give him a bunch of fake out deaths. Which, I don't want to believe that they would do, you know? That, or they're trying to make us not fear death when it comes to Sid. Who knows? I don't actually know what their goal is. Shit, I wasn't paying attention. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm crazy. I just feel like you don't do that, dude. It's just not a good idea. Yeah, I mean, like, don't tell me anything, obviously, but still, I can't help but feel that way. Hey, don't do that to my boy. Why are you making me feel this way about him? I don't want him to die, but they keep doing it. I would like him to live too. Although, I mean... Never mind, that's spoilers for another game. But who knows? Who knows? Maybe they're just doing it for fun. May maybe they want us to to not take death seriously with Sid. Maybe, maybe, this, maybe this is just going to be like a repeat thing. Where they just keep putting his life in danger to the point where we stop taking it seriously. 
But wait, maybe they're doing that intentionally so that then when then when he actually dies, it hits even harder. <gasps> but I feel like that's such a cheap way to make somebody. I don't know. I'm not a writer. I don't know anything about writing. I see they replaced that wooden door with something a little more sturdy. On the count of three. <sighs> yeah, like just think about it. If he were to ever actually die. What happened to two? Ask one. If he were to ever actually die, I wouldn't take it seriously. I'd be like, no, he's alive. But then he actually dies, and I'm like, oh, no way. No way. I refuse to believe it. That's how I put on stuff. Is this sword better? It's better? Wow. Okay. That was gonna keep us out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what this is do. The mother crystal's just up ahead. Is it? I can't see a thing. Well, unless someone's moved it. Mm. I don't know what's gonna happen, dude. I'm, I can't I can't help but be fearful for the future this game has already done some terrible things to me at the beginning I'm already speculating about who's who and what's going on there's no one about. Whoa. I knew it would be big. But this. Holy shit. There. That's our way into the inner sanctum. Oh my god. You'd think they'd have patched that up by now. Sorry, stay the Empire's in. We can just jump over it, no? Wait. You don't mean... Aye. My little game of hide-and-seek with Bahama ended here. A tragic cost to this remarkable architecture. Whoa. Don't blame me, he started it. But how did he make it out alive? I walked. You should try it. Wow. Huh. Oh god, who are we gonna run into here? I fucking knew something was coming. Wait, aren't these the enemies you ran into at the... We ran into these guys at, in the, uh... At the Phoenix Gate. What could they be doing here? How could those creatures from Phoenix Gate be here in the mines? Are the two places connected somehow? Mm, I mean, if the Phoenix Gate, that that whole that whole area was pretty high, state of the art. It had to be made using ether, right? So if that's the case. If this area is like a mine full of ether, then I guess it's not too surprising that there would be these guys in the same area. But still.
move is so busted. She's gotta start singing this song the moment, the moment it comes up. The moment I use it, ignition. That's okay. Oh, more. Ooh, you almost got me. Ooh. This guy thinks he can do something for me. Oh, did I parry him? Crazy to think that that guy was a boss earlier. Or at least a boss type enemy. Uh, that's fine. This guy does still have a lot of HP though. Interesting that the enemy theme is a glitch. I appreciate how frequently this move comes up though. Get buried, bitch. Crazy. Clive sounds a lot like Thancred sometimes, dude. Maybe it's just because I'm a 14 simp. I can't help but compare it to 14. I feel like all I do is compare this game to 14. Clive has sounded like Thancred from the beginning, dude. What is going on? When I was in the Imperial Army, soldiers assigned to the Glass Gate would tell stories about mm -hmm. something they called the Guardian. Can't say I saw anything like that when I was last here. Then again, I can't say I made it this far. This is Thancred. Let's just be careful then. This is Thancred. He's a character in Final Fantasy XIV. But no, it's probably not the same voice. He just kind of sounds like him, just a little bit. It's definitely a stretch. Oh, <gasps> boss time? Where did that come from? If I had to guess. Is that the guardian? That's a dragon. Holy shit. Poor beast. Another victim of the flood. Oh, he's gonna cause you too. How exciting. Well, if it's a fight he wants. Ready, Clive? Always. Not this time. Ooh. Oh my god. What is he doing? Oh my god. Okay. Well now I know what that means. Okay, so he does take a break at some point. Ooh. Oh my god! Okay, this the boss's hitboxes are really inconsistent. Can I just... This, is, this feels so wasted. I can barely hit him. Okay. Pog. Let's actually get some damage on this guy. Get down. Oh, 
This guy, this guy is, uh, this guy's got interesting hitboxes. Pretty predictable moves. I've noticed that with a lot of the big bosses, whenever the boss gets really big, they're really easy to predict. But I guess it's hard to make... It's hard to make a big enemy... Like, not predictable. Because if you make an enemy big and fast, you know... It's not really too fair, at least game balance-wise. So I understand why that's not a thing. But still. Ugh, this feels kinda bad. <laughs> Gonna be fighting this guy for so long. Am I not doing enough side quests? Do I need to level up? Maybe there's gonna be an opportunity to do more more damage. Hot rocks. Fuck did what? Oh shit. Oh. Tell me, oh you missed. Where is he? There he is. Oh my god. Is there another area to attack besides his head? Because his head is so inconsistent. Can I target another location? Who's close? Oh, where are you going? This boss is kind of cool though. It, it makes me think of uh, Medir from Dark Souls 3. Only specific attacks, though. Very specific attacks. Well, I mean, I understand being like being locked on affecting it, but like the thing is, is that if you if you don't lock on, it's still kind of awkward. And I guess I have his body to attack. I don't know. Ow. Okay, that's fine. lock onto another part of your body. It's just so weird to. I feel like it auto locks onto his head. Ooh. Oh my god. So the initial blast for that doesn't actually do any damage. Oh, this guy's down for the count. Oh my god. Okay. No! Okay, whatever. <laughs> oh my god! Come here! Do I not understand how lock-on works? Honestly, that wouldn't be the most shocking thing. But still. Okay. No, I mean, I do appreciate it in this context. But, although, this does make me question whether or not I actually understood um, uh, the lock-on system. So, like, do I only have to press it once? I thought I had to hold it. 
I don't have to hold it. Oh, shit. Oh, he missed again. Oh, okay. So it's just holding it. So I have to let go, and then... But it... I don't think I ever knew... How do you... You know what? Controls. Where can... How do you switch targets while you're locked on? Can you do that? I don't even know if you can. Target lock. Oh yeah, I have it set to toggle. Is there a way to do it? I don't think there's a way to do it. Yeah, there's no way I don't think. I didn't mean to press that one. All right then. Looks like I'm learning about combat. New things about combat today. All right. Nice job. Yeah, I don't know. This boss wasn't particularly hard. It just felt kind of annoying. So yeah, I did have it on toggle target. I thought that I had to hold it. I've been holding it this entire time for targeting. That's crazy. <laughs> that's uh, that's kind of wild. Are you all right? Fine. The inner sanctum lies just beyond. Chances are the palace guard knows we're here. We should move. Not that any sane commander would send his men into a place awash with this much ether. I mean, you'd be shocked. Sid? Clive. Yeah. If this all works, and the blessing fades, things are likely to get worse for our kind before they get better. Being the last to wield ether will make our talents that much more sought after. By which I mean, hunted. I just hope, in the end, They'll see that we didn't have any other choice. That it was the only way to get us to a better place. Oh god, is his whole arm gone now? And here I was thinking I was the uncertain one. Luckily, two out of three of us have faith in you. Then it all starts here. Oh god. Time to earn that menacing title. Sid the Vicious, was it? Oh my god. Yeah, no. Sid's definitely dying. I'm sorry. I I I, ha I have to say it in order in order to be okay with it later. That's the only way. That's the only way. Thank you for the super. I did my best. That was a rough that was a rough fight. Nah, I I have to say it. I have to say it. He has Anyone to. Having second thoughts? Not me. I'm doing it to prepare we'll myself. To the end, Sid. Then what are we waiting for? I don't know what I'm gonna do. Whoa, that was a lot of stuff. Really just potions? I don't know what to do. I don't know what else to do. Oh, the mother crystal. Wait, if the mother crystal exists, maybe we are the warrior of light. Maybe that's how we're able to absorb multiple iconic powers. Oh, oh the music. The heart of Sambrek. The heart of Sabik. Well, 
That didn't work. I think we're gonna need a bigger sword. Mine's bigger. Thank you, Clive, but I meant that figuratively. The core's clearly made of sterner stuff. <laughs> Sarge's going to have a fix when she hears about this. <laughs> Stand back. It's about to get cramped in here. What are you going to do? Why does it have to be you? Oh, I guess we can't control our transformation just yet. My man just went Super Saiyan old. Portal to the Void? Oh no! Sid! Sid! Oh shit! Wait, is it a Portal to the Void? Is it actually? Oh shit! Ifrit, I need a freight. Wait, I think it actually is. Come to me. I can't do this without you. Do we go in the portal? What is that thing? We're in a circular I arena right now. Typhon? This is Typhon. You again? Where are you? What do you want? Oh. Fuck. It's still alive. Whoa. Oh, it can't pull it out. That was a good one. That was spicy.
familiar. Actually, no, he doesn't. He looks like something out of Darksiders. I don't know if you guys know that game. Or Darkstalkers? I forget what it's called. It's the one where you play as Death. He looks like Death. And yours. Oh, snap. Control. Okay. Good God, this game. Attack, range attack, evade, jump. Oh, ability mastery is shared with Clive. We so we have like more control. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god This feels so good. Using L while holding O is an effective method to avoid. Okay. This is such a cool fight. Come here. Oh my god. My god, this damage is so crazy. 
You thought you could hit me with that shit? Nah. <laughs> Dude, this is so satisfying. This is... If it's so much fun to use now. What? Wait. So there's... Um, so was there this many from the beginning? Because now they're like combining into one. Blonde, and he has four arms now. As you wish. Oh god, no, never mind. He's massive now. Ooh. Holy fuck, how was I supposed to make it out of that? Oh my god. Woo! All I'm gonna do is learn your moves. Oh, okay, never mind, I got hit. Fuck. <laughs> Staggered, bitch. Can't use the same move on me twice. Snap. It's obvious he's gonna be behind us. Oh my god, death ball. You're not even using the other arms, dude. It was a waste. You shouldn't have combined. You had more of an advantage when there was like eight of you. Oh shit. Dead 
Ó. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Holy shit. <laughs> oh no, wait. Do I do I lose this because I pressed the wrong button? I was just spamming square. Oh, oh shit. That's sick as hell. Oh my god. That's insane, dude. Oh, level up. Sick. <sighs> okay. All right. Excuse me for my phone going off. Honestly, hoping we get to fight... Hmm. More is different. But that is an interesting line. A suitable vessel. But for what? Enjoy your nap. You're wounded. This, it's only a scratch. All right, the hole. We'll, we'll find you a healer. Here. No, you won't. <laughs> He's not dying. Oh, holy fuck. <laughs> What? I know who you are. And if you think I'm gonna let you have him. Think again. Holy shit. What? What? Who is that? He has the same voice as the hooded as the hooded man. Oh my god, Sid. He's not actually dead. There's no way he's dying. One left. I'll do me. What is this music that's playing? Try not to talk. No, he's not dying. Listen to the music that's playing right now. I get it, it's his theme, but like, no way. Try. For so long, I thought I had all the answers. But then I met you. And I learned. It wasn't a good death we should be fighting for, but a better life. No way. It's all very well, a man. Reclaiming his fate. But if he can't choose how he beats it, what's the point? 
No way. So, I made a choice. <gasps> no, I called it. I called it unintentionally. No, no. No. He's actually fucking dead. I was kidding. I was joking when I said that. No. And if it's an outlaw, the world needs to help it break free. Stop. Please, Sid. I can think of none better than you. No. No fucking way. No way. I. I just. What? I. Wow. I. I was kidding when I said we would get his power, so he's gonna need to die. I. What the fuck, dude? Who, who even are you? Who even are you? Oh my god. I fucking jinxed it. Oh my god, dude. In the ashen grip. Let Ember go <gasps> to kindle flames <gasps> for you. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Why do they keep doing this to us? No fucking way. It is him. It, it's him. It's Joshua, right? This is Joshua, right? No way. No way. Is it him? Fuck, dude. Sid is dead. I'm sorry, Clive. Had I arrived but a moment sooner. Huh. Do you remember me, boy? I saw you protect them. That was very brave. No way. I know you're there. Ultima. Ultima! That's Oh my god! Wait! That's why Clive can absorb the other the other icons! What else have you learned, Phoenix? That's why, because he's an Ultima! Holy shit! No way, dude. My travels have revealed much about you and your ambitions. I know that it was you who tore me from my brother. No way. And I know that it is his power that you seek. Wait, no? What? But know this. If you want him, you'll have to go through me. Holy shit. <laughs> of mine ancestors. Fill these lungs that I may dispel the songs of suffering. A disturbance. Oh my god. We'll leave. My brother. Alone. Holy shit. Joshua is insane. Oh my god! This is getting us nowhere. We agree. No more games, Phoenix. We are come to claim our vessel. What? And I said no. Oh shit! <laughs> No way! These flames are nothing. You will know what it is 
to burn. Yours is a fleeting form. I'm not fool enough to think I can harm you. Dude. But to protect my brother, I don't have to. Joshua is such a badass. Get up, Clive! Get up! Get up! It's Joshua! It's him! Wake up, Clive! Wake up! No! 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 Clive, get up! Have you forgotten already who I am? Wait, is he absorbing Ultima? Joshua. Let's try and get to my brother now. Fiend. Ah. Uh, I. What? What? What is? Oh God. It's dissipating. Wait, what did Joshua just do? Did he absorb him? What? I'm s I, I have so many questions. I have so many questions. The fuck do you mean, meanwhile? No! They're killing everyone at the hideaway! No! 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 You bitch! You fucking bitch! I won't cook that again! Find shit! Or all fucking dead! Shut the fuck! Oh my god! Please, please, Gav! Please! No! Gav survived! Please! Tarya, please, please survive. What? Sid is not among the dead. Shall I send a Stolas? What the fuck? That won't be necessary. Whoa. Titan? What? What is he doing here? Oh, wait. No, he's coming for Sid. I see. He was the one that sent those guys. Oh, my God. The hideout is no more. Oh my gosh. What? What do we do? I just... The finest silks from the master weavers of Randall. Oh yeah, no. Come, come, feel its softness. Chop Make a nice steaks, gift for your wife. Sausage, all from greens fed farm birds. None of the old courses you'll find elsewhere. Here, take a bite. I've got peppers and peas, beans and beets. If it goes in a pot, I've got the lot. Restoratives, restoratives, on 
Look all you like, sir. Oh. It's all fresh. Pick this very morning. Restoratives. Unguents, ointments, poultices. Palmatives, curatives. Bro, you're gonna have to change your armor set if you don't want to get found out. You are... You are wearing red... Uh, whatever, dude. Poultices. Might I interest you in a potion, milady? Perhaps a soothing salve to ease the aches of the road? I'm sorry. I wish you well, but may the mothers guide you. Calmatives, curatives, restoratives. She's so sweet. Holy shit. So what do we do now? What? I'm like, I don't even know what to do. Five years? It's good to see you, Sid. Huh? What have we learned? Holy shit, he's so hot. The bearers are locked up in an old courthouse on the edge of town. And I hardly need tell you who is there to make sure they stay that way. Kuka's private guard. It's a trap. I'm and not a very good one at that. Uh, what the fu- I'm no. so conflicted. What does he hope to gain from this? I'll have the captives free before nightfall. You do nothing of the sort. What the fuck? Our comrades didn't give their lives for you to get your throat slit in a god's forsaken slum. So those in the courthouse should be left to suffer. That's not what I said. I simply meant it doesn't have to be you who frees them. Oh. Oh my god. You're as stubborn as the old Sid was. I'm confused. Sid is a title now. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Is he just carrying Sid's legacy? You're Sid now. And if anything happens to him, we're finished. What? I mean, I guess... In name, he's Sid now, but like, who's left of the hideout? I guess Victor, but I, I'm guessing Gavin and Tarya are still alive. What, a, bro? You can't just you can't just bust out a five-year time skip on me. Show older older Jill and older Clive. Have have the brothers reunite. Show me Joshua's face and have him talk. Please, we don't reveal know Ultima to me. You have to believe us. We'd help you if we could. But you're helping us already. <laughs> Forgive him, my lord. He did not mean to offend. What? Quiet, you! No sign of Hugo. I'll wager he thinks as highly of his minions' traps as we do. Then this should be easy. Don't hurt us. I beg of you. Quiet means quiet, branded scum. Wow. Clive, you gotta calm the fuck down, dude. Bark, bark. Fuck. It's going to be all right. <clears throat> I'm here to even the odds. Bark, bark. Wolf, wolf. Holy shit, dude. Bark, 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 bark. Huh. Okay, we gotta fight now, guys. Hmm. The tuning with Ramu not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities, such as Thunderstorm, which rains Levenbolts down on all nearby enemies, knocking them back. 
Ability details are found on the Abilities tab in the main menu. Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> no way! And they're just like, like ticking time bombs. That's so sick. <laughs> what a sick skill, dude. Okay. It's gonna be interesting cycling through all these icons, but it's fine. Damn, bro. You guys all went down instantly. Enough of this! Let him play with the kitten! <laughs> they brought a pet. You think he's enough for me? You'll pay for what you've done, Sid. That's crazy. We're really Sid. We'll have to be faster. Shit. Okay, this move is not to be used. Okay, this is an interesting move. Get on the ground. Alright, fine, fine, I won't, fi fine, I won't use it! Fine, fine. God. Thank you. Alright. Can you just dodge all of them? Yeah, 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 now you can't stop me. Yeah, what do you want? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay. I I like I like I like I like it a lot. I like it quite a bit. I like it a lot. I like it. Wow. Oh my god, it's massive. It looks like the pig that Stewie bred for that one uh, pig competition in Family Guy. <laughs> Dude. Oink. <laughs> I could just see that cat going meow.
They'll tell Hugo. Let them. There's been more than enough bloodshed for one day. So what's going on? You guys look really angry for people that just got saved. Murderer. All of our friends are dead because of you. Do you hear me? They used us as bait. Bait to lure you out of your stinking hole. All because you couldn't just let things be. What are you even doing here? We never asked to be saved. Did you think we'd thank you? They'll never forgive us! We're all mugged now! <laughs> for five years we fought to secure a better life for our kind. To see that we are treated as equals. Do you not want that? What we want is to be left alone. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer! It's all right. Motherfuckers. Ungrateful I'm ass. I'm sorry. Just leave us be. This is our home, and this is where we will stay. Sid told us this wouldn't be easy. They'll come round. I'm, I'm so confused right now. If you say so. Oh, now that I think about it. We should go. Oh. So breaking the crystal didn't remove the current, the current bears that exist. All, all removing the crystal did was make it so that no more bears can be born. That's all that's all that happened. Hmm, okay. So yeah, that was all we did. All we did was make it so that the the current bear population is the only one that will ever exist. However, that's exactly what Sid said. It's going to make things worse for our kind before it makes things better. But I mean that night 5 years ago we destroyed what for many was a symbol of hope. For a reason they'll never know. We cannot blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery. Yeah, they just don't know the truth. Though it's to give them a better tomorrow. They see only that we've made their lives harder today. Yet the boil must be lanced if it is to heal. I can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice. Hmm. When Sid said that he wanted to create a world where we were free. Free to choose our own path. I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong. Only that it was our own. I miss him. <laughs> a world where we can live and die as equals. That's what he wanted. What we want. And that's why I bear his name. It's why we've all chosen to bear his legacy. Oh no, I misunderstood. Or I don't, I'm misremembering. I'm not going to let anything stand in our way. God, Clive is so fucking hot. Rides over, lovebirds, home sweet home. Yeah, see, this this right here is a, is a uh, figurative and physical manifestation of the fact that my ship has sailed. The ship is sailed, guys. It's over. The ship is literally sailed. We're Team Jill forever. It's over. This is this is it. This is the end. But no, so I'm what I'm misremembering is this. Um we broke the crystal so that be, so that no more new crystals can be made. Otto was asking after you. Let's go and Whoa. see him. That was weird. Uh, never a dull moment. Basically, it's like no, 
uh, no longer are there people who can use crystals to cast magic. Now bears are the only ones that can use magic. That's what it is. So there's only like a few crystals left. That's what it is. Wait, what the fuck? Jill? Where'd Jill go? I'm going back down. Otto will want to know what happened in Kostnis. I expect he'll be in the mess. Wait, does that make more bearers? Interesting. I wonder why that's the case. Like, God, I've got, I've, I've gotten answers, but now I have more questions. Who is Ultima? Like, I'm aware of what Ultima is in the Final Fantasy universe, but who is he in this universe, and why does he want Clive? He said Clive would serve as a nice vessel, but like, why is that? Like, is it, is it due to Ultima's... Actually, that wouldn't be too shocking. The fact that Ultima showed up during the Phoenix. Oh! Maybe, maybe he showed up, because because now we know that the hooded person that showed up wasn't Future Joshua. Future Joshua is a completely separate thing. Future Joshua is Future Joshua, but that wasn't Future Joshua that showed up when we turned into Ifrit and killed Joshua the first time. That was Ultima. So it's possible that from the beginning, Sadly Ultima not. saw us as a vessel. But why us? Is it because we housed Ifrit? Is it due to his intervention that we can absorb uh, the other the other icons and take some of their power? Is it business? Or so interesting. Or is that? But, but according to Joshua, he said that's our power. So Clive already has the innate ability to somehow absorb the powers of other icons. Oh How did Clive get that power? Oh, Why does he have that power? Is it special? Way. They certainly do make it seem like it's special, because Benedicta certainly didn't expect to have Garuda sucked out of her, so... Clive. Weird. What do you want? Very, oh, very... There's a lot to think about here. Not it. Fine. Like, like, why can we absorb other dominant powers, you know? Why do we have that ability? Like, we can absorb their powers, but we can't take the actual, you know, the actual icons themselves, but we can take some of their iconic power. Why is that? Why can we do that? Is it because of, is it because of Ultima? Did Ultima intervene and that's why we can? But Joshua made it seem like we were always able to do that, or like it is our power. So I'm lost, dude. I'm really confused. So basically, we're something different. We're kind of quirky, basically. We're not like the others. I don't know what makes us different, but... Hmm. It was very wild. Like, like, how did Ultima find out about us, you know? If that's the case. Because if you really think about it... Sure, we did, we did receive a blessing from, from Joshua, but how did he know that we could absorb powers? Like, he knew that before we absorbed any? Did he, like, analyze us and find out that we could absorb the powers? I'm so lost, dude. I'm... So many things I don't know. Ah, there you are, Clive. Word of your adventures arrived this morning. Victor sent his thanks. <laughs> I doubt Kupka will miss the fools he sent to catch me. Not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join <sighs> hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican arm. Should be back any day now. Understood. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. I just want to try and figure out something on my own. What could... What could be the answer? Still can't work that one out. There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Yet this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. So... So far, I've only got a few things in my head right now. One, 
that Clive was always like this. We've all he's always been able to absorb the powers of other icons. And that's why Ultima like found that. That or were like this due to Ultima's intervention. The other thing that confuses me though is why Joshua didn't show himself to us sooner. If he's been alive this whole time. Perhaps. Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps some way, somehow, he found out about Ultima's plot before us. So he's been like protecting us from the shadows. But. Uh. But now that begs the question who was who? Like, the one that Benedicta was interrogating, was that Ultima or was that Joshua? Who was the one that, that, that saw us, that we saw like at the fight with Garuda? Was that Ultima or was that Joshua? I think that was Ultima because Garuda just kind of slammed him and then he just disappeared. So that could have been Joshua. I don't know, dude. My brain is not working. I trust I'm not intruding. Back from your mission? I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. Oh wow, really, Vivian? Well, I say the same of you, Vivian Ninetales. I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. So, to what do I owe the honor? Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? Whew, brown skin, white hair. Is that so hard to Chef's believe? Chef's kiss. Very well then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? Dangerous combo. But the real question is, how did we get here? <laughs> I'm glad we've got good taste here. Long though Sambrek's dominion over oh. Northeastern Storm has endured, Recent days have seen the Blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. For which reason, she has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Wait. Odin would sooner pawn his sword than Walud relinquish Ash. So... And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambraqua boots. Wait, wait, wait. so the... The, Little the Blight is getting worse? Sylvester set her sights on the Crystalline Dominion. An altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor, a nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the Twins. The Non-Aggression Treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The Holy Empire. The Dalmechian Republic. The Kingdom of Walud. And of course, our friends in Yara. Who will be left standing, I wonder, when the last drop of blood is spilled? So, we're playing Fire Emblem Three Houses now? What the fuck is going on? You were born in Twinside. Do you not fear for your home? Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. I guess there's four houses. Yet in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Now... As to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me, and we shall consider ourselves even. Even. Right. Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Tell him it was... Um, adequate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. You know... I think... I think this is not about time to stop. I think I've reached the point where my brain is no longer capable of actually comprehending what I'm being told. <sighs> yeah, I think that's 
in my best interest to stop for now. My brain is no longer working the same way it did before. All right. Uh, yeah, we can stop for now. Oh, it's Suventa. So glad I stayed up late for this. The boss fights were sick and your commentary is always top tier. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm glad. I'm glad you enjoy it. Thank you so much for the super. You're too kind. Thank you, guys. Thank you for hanging out. Yeah, this game is pretty wild. I'm enjoying it. Uh, I will have my schedule uh, out probably tomorrow night. Or as in, like, tonight. I guess, like, I don't know how long how long from now that is. Um, but... I actually think I kept up with all the supas, but I, I I need to, like, bring everything together and read them. I feel... Huh, everything got kind of thrown off with my PC and stuff. So... Aw, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. Thank you for being here. It means a lot. And uh, thank you again for one month. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. Yeah. I look forward... I look forward to more. Uh, oh, you know, we can move this over here. It was fun watching you play. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for the super. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. We are crazy. Huh. Take care of yourselves. Yeah, my brain's gonna be okay. But yes, uh, I need to get my schedule out probably sometime tonight, because I don't know how I'm going to otherwise. <laughs> I gotta... Gosh, yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm just a bit behind. I need to catch up. Thank you guys for your patience and your understanding in regards to my whole PC situation. Hopefully it's back sooner rather than later. Like I said, they already found the problem. It was just a matter of getting the parts. So... Honestly, it would be it would be amazing if it was back tomorrow. I would I would really appreciate it if I got my PC back tomorrow. Maybe the day after. I would like to not wait much longer than that, if I'm being honest with you. But thank you guys so much for hanging out. Thanks for the stream. I always look forward to your Final Fantasy streams. Also, happy one month. Thank you. I'm glad you look forward to them. I, I don't know how much more of the game we have left. I'm kind of scared. I'm like, how much is left? This game is so deep and rich, I'm like, I can't wait to explore more, but I'm just like, how deep does it go? My god. But thank you, and thank you for the super. Happy one month anniversary. And I really enjoyed the stream. Sleep well. You you sleep well too, and you guys all rest well. Take care of yourselves, or, you know, I don't know if you're, you're probably not going to sleep. Some of you probably aren't. But thank you so much, and thank you for the super. God. Well, that's good. At least there's still a lot of the game left. That's nice to know. It's comforting in a way. Oh. I guess there's no one on. Crazy Dio. Okay. I guess we can just vibe out together then. Thanks for the one month of fun. Laugh fun and laughter, Vanta. Hope your PC gets fixed the soonest. Rest up. We will see you on your next stream. Thank you. And thank you for the super. Thanks for the stream. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys have a good one too. Praying praying hard that nah, we get it back. We get it back at ASAP. I will take care of myself. Have an absolutely wonderful night. Um, so yeah, updates. Oh, what's going on? Why is that? Why? Whatever, at least it didn't happen all stream. I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah. Um, that doesn't bother me. But... Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again. Okay. Yes. That next week. There's a lot going on next week. Thanks for the stream. Rest well, Vanta. Thank you. You rest well too. Take care of yourself. And thank you so much for the super. You guys are way too kind. Thank you so much. Uh, and, uh, honestly, I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I can say in regards to like my membership. I'm still kind of like figuring all this out. Um, I, like, I don't know what I can say like, oh yeah, it's coming soon. I mean like, 
I, I'm, I'm, wor I'm working on it. I, I have, I have like, I have most of everything. I'm like 70% done with what I need to get done. Uh, I'll just say that. I, I don't, I don't want to like promise you like an exact date or anything, but I'm working on it. I'm working on getting it done as quickly as I can. But thank you guys. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm schmoovin'. I'm doing my best this. I know, I know it's probably taking a lot longer than some people expected, but yeah, I am working on it. Uh, lag in the, in the, in the last half. Happy one month, Ventacun. Omedeto! Thank you! Arigato! Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you for the super. I need to figure out how to say thank you for the super. Thank you for the super in Japanese. <laughs> but, thank you. No, I'm not taking my time. I'm not taking my time. No, I, I've taken my time long enough. That's enough. No more. No more. Okay. Alright, but yeah. I'm gonna sign out for now. And I'll keep you guys updated. I'll let you guys know what's happening tomorrow. Oh. Oh. Um. <laughs> um, guys, I just realized I don't have my ending screen on this PC on OBS. So, we're just gonna have to end like this, okay? Um. Oh, I know what we can do. Um. Here we go. Okay, we can do this, and then... There we go. We're just gonna uh, pause that. And then... We're just gonna... Just gonna do this. And then... Uh, okay, alright! Alright, this is my ending screen for now. Um... See you next time. Uh, still a bye-bye. Please take care of yourselves. I I'll get an ending screen on this PC, although it... Hopefully I don't have it for much longer, so you guys have a good one. <laughs> Hasta la bye bye. Good night. Also, thank you for all the support this month. I really appreciate it. I feel right at home. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh shit, I gotta save. Holy shit. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, don't worry, I won't forget. All right, hasta la bye-bye. See you later. Good night.